Hello, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I'm your host, Mike, The Wandering Tube. And joining me, as always, is my friend and co-host, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. And the reason that people had to be patient tonight. Well, Thanks, they, everybody. Most of them stuck around. Yeah, that was nice. My, uh, my oldest child is 14 today. Yep. So, so we had to celebrate with a fancy dinner. That's what we do. Well, yep. Happy birthday. Thanks. Well, she'll still let you attend her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be sent out of the house on Friday. Don't worry for a party. <laughs> oh, and that third voice you hear, please welcome to the show. This is Nate. Hi, Nate. Hey, hey. How's it going? Good. Thanks How for having you? me. Thanks for coming on. Uh, yeah, we've known each other for quite some time, haven't we? Years. Yeah, we were just, just discussing. We, we met at the Con of the Rings back in 2019. Yep, that's where I met most of the fine folks in this community. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think that was my first foray into the getting to know more people in the community and stuff too. Yep, that was fun. That's where I met Daniel for the first time in that airport. Yeah, like that's Daniel. We hung out <laughs> for what five years before that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, all right. I was like, that guy's hairy and tall. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's tall. <laughs> Extremely tall for a took. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. So um, those of you that know me very well might be wondering what is wrong with me because uh, I <laughs> I have a history with this quest, Storm on Kobos Haven. Uh, Nate says he likes this one. So I decided, you know what? No, we're gonna play this. Let's play it three player because my complaints are largely with solo and two player. Just the way the math works out, fighting the ship, I don't like it. Um, I'll <laughs> I'll go on like an hour long rant on some other day, but I think in three player we can do this. Yeah. Or if we lose, or if we yeah, lose. I was gonna say when we lose in thirty minutes, you can have an hour. Oh, long absolutely! <laughs> Holy crap! Will I ever do it? You know, I'm a fan of rants, <laughs> so. Um, there is a, a lovely, I don't know. Do you, what do you think, Nate? Do you want to do that house rule or just play it straight? Um, remind me the house rule. The house rule comes from the nightmare pack that says that that treachery can never attach the Raider flagship to an objective. I'm okay with that. All right, let's do that. Uh, I think the that, reason for that is because of time, right? Uh, no, the reason for that is because there's two ways to win this quest. One is to defeat the flagship, mm -hmm. which I am going to just go out there and say it's literally almost impossible solo or two player mm -hmm. um or you run away but to run away successfully you have to control all the objectives yep hence the problem if a treachery sticks the raider flagship on an objective and you're playing solo understood so with that little thing little hitch corrected i think we'll have a grand old time i agree okay. and i'm always about having fun with this game too so yeah of course awesome okay but first off Catherine says happy birthday to Elsa oh thank you Catherine. and actually I had the same question it is your eldest right yep yeah excellent all right yeah. well uh let's let's just do this we had a lot of discussion about how this works because this is a sailing quest which means who's going to dump the most allies turn one we figured it was probably the Aristor deck the dwarves might take a turn or two to get going. Uh, we have already chosen what objective to throw in the staging area. That is the Seaward Tower, which helps us in sailing if we can get it. Yep. And it is guarded by a ship. Lovely. And is that all we chose? We chose each boats for each other. We obviously gave yep. you, Daniel, the, the Narlenia, which reduces the cost of the first ally you play by yeah, one. Yeah, nice. For the Sylvans, they've got the Dream Chaser. Dream Chaser. Which is nice because uh, they will get less use than me from the Silver Wing, which has the, yep. the hero bu uh, buff. But also it lets us sail and add it to the first player. Which yep, is, I get to add two more characters to a sailing test. Yeah, really handy turn one when you're not the first player. Uh, Silver Wing is there. I mean, I, I hope this is a good strategy because it's got ranged. And if we have to kill that ship, I mean, it's going to take three ships to take mm -hmm. that thing out. Yeah, there we go. All there right. 
Um, I would love to explain what my deck is, but I'm going to let Nate do that because it's his. Yeah, uh, that's a Last Alliance Noldor Haradrim deck that likes to spew out super powerful allies and usually just does a super great job at questing, combat, everything. Awesome. At the, yeah, Last, Last Alliance gets expensive allies out for cheap, so All right. that's the goal anyways. <laughs> And it's got three Will of the Wests, I see, so that's good stuff. Yep. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And your Sylvan deck? Yeah, it's a fairly typical Sylvan deck, I think. The three, you got Gladriel, Celeborn, Thranduil, and a whole ton of allies with a little bit of their uh, Return of Sylvan to cancel shadows, stop combat, those things. And it's got self-healing. I don't have any healing for other people, but unless you're Sylvan. Nope. <laughs> but a lot of ranged, so I should be able to shoot at things for everybody. That's very nice. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, your Bond of Dwarfship is one of Purple Wizard's decks, and okay. which means it's fairly well constructed. Well, I can't wait to just burn it to the ground. <laughs> Don't quest with Dane. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do that every time. <laughs> All right, I think, uh, well, Nate, uh, guests on the show always read the flavor text. It's just this the way true. things go. Sounds good. So if you don't mind reading card one. Yeah, so we got Outmaneuver the Enemy. Corsairs are attacking Dol Amroth to cover Sahir's escape to Umbar. All right. Oh, we've got that second deck. This would be the... Now, Mike, you usually drive that, correct? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll drive this one. Okay. And we'll flip this over. And that's where the boarding parties come from, correct? That is. Okay. All right. All right. So the... Yeah, we'll try to maneuver the heading here. There is a way to change the heading. You, it's got the set rotation option on it, so you can move the, move your navigation around. Uh, and I think we're ready to go. We're ready for some shift in. Do we start at the best or the second best? I think we started the best because when the quest stage begins, you immediately drop to second best. I see. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I draw three additional cards. Well, I have Furial and Galdor. Nice. Ooh. Eladan, No Will of the West. Okay, that's not the not the worst. All right, so to the sea, to the sea goes on just anybody, I suppose. Uh, yep. All right, and well, I can't actually pay for anything in this hand, so it doesn't even matter what I get rid of. Correct, yeah. The first one, basically, you just pick whichever, probably Haradrim ally, I'd probably go Furial, or yeah. whatever that you think is best, and dump all your cards to getting them on the table. All right, so I'm uh, exhausting Last Alliance, choose to see to see, and I'm dumping five cards to get Furial on the table. Very sad to see now, Galdor go, but she'll be awesome. Ship to ship combat, only ships can attack ships and only ships can defend ships. Okay, only ships can defend ships. Anybody Anyone can attack, can ship, attack right? ships except the, flag the Raider ship. flagship. Okay. That's its superpower. Okay. My goal is to have Gimli single handedly take out a ship. That That's what I do want. it that's possible that would be epic yeah you've got citadel plates <coughs> and uh, one of those warrior of attachments war. and a remit of war yeah you do although that's too restricted right there right mm. yeah maybe remit of war isn't for him maybe that's for dane not sure anyways i'll pass it over to nate all right um i'm gonna exhaust galadriel to look for galleon here so i'm gonna lower my threat by one draw a card um, let's see here. No one else is exhausted. While you're thinking, uh, what's kind of funny about this is just listening to, you know, how some of the new cards play with this. Like, unfortunately, uh, Galadriel doesn't really help with the, with the sailing because you have to exhaust your allies to sail and that's before the quest. So that's unfortunate, but, um, just a little, a little Nambo there. Yeah, little non-bow. 
Danny, well, would you like to reduce your threat by one from the handmaiden? Um, sure. Thanks. Yeah, helpful, helpful hint, Daniel. Lower your threat. Well, I'm going to go down two in my turn. If you want to play Lord of the Rings, the card game. <laughs> Catherine, I saw two decks with Harad something at Con of the Rings, and I think one of them was Noldor. I can't remember what the other one was, but it's getting lots of love now. Good, I, I like Harad. It's... Are you done, Nate? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I think I'll, oh. I'm going to save my tree people for now. All right. I will Norolenya in a free record keeper. What do you think of that? Let's go. Okay. Then I will pay a dollar only after I reduce my threat. One for a ally. When I have five dwarves, this guy's not three dollars. He's one dollar. Let's go. Oh, you should have been first player. And I'll reduce my threat again. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm done having fun. I don't think we need the song healing out just yet. Nope. Probably not. Okay. Now, I did keep myself from playing Test of Will, so don't draw any treacheries, guys, okay? Uh, okay, fine. Right. Done. Um, this poses Okay, so no, now no. we sail, right, Mike? Now we sail. And explain sailing to the friends. The I'm asking for a friend. Okay. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we're going to set this to... Oh, wait. So set rotation. You rotate it the other way. 270, okay. Uh, yep. So at the beginning of the quest phase, you reduce your heading by one step. And unfortunately, the blown up image always shows it right side up. Uh, but we are on cloudy skies now. Uh, if you're not on course, and on course is only the sunny symbol, then bad things happen. And yep. usually if you're at one of the worst two, it's it's god awful. Uh, and... <laughs> yeah, so just don't get off course. That's all we have to do. Yeah. The first player has to exhaust oh my goodness did i actually have another Haradrim in my hand i didn't so i can't even ready khalil uh that's too bad uh the first player and the first player only uh, exception being the dream chaser exhaust characters to commit to sailing you draw that many cards from the encounter deck and if you see for every symbol you see you get to uh increase your heading so in this quest uh there's what one symbol, two in the whole deck? That's what it feels like. I believe that's accurate. Yeah, pretty sure. It's a 35 sure. card deck, and I think three of them have the symbol. Yeah, uh, I am abs I'm thinking I send at least two. I'll send the Dream Chaser. Is four good enough? Four is... I don't even know. Four is fantastic. I like because it. Because here's the other thing that happens. When you commit four, you draw three on course... And then never see them again. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. One. Are you ready? Two. Oh, three, oh you'll do it. Four. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hey, we got one. Hey, we did. All right. And we got rid of a couple nasty treacheries. Yeah. By the way, folks, if you're looking at it, I'm hovering over the beacon now. Uh, okay. Like beacon. should do. That's the symbol we're looking for in the lower left. That's the one. Yeah. That's the, the very one. All I right. like that we saw one. And yep, only that's one. That's good. <clears throat> All right, Daniel, I'll, I'll let you drive the. the uh, I'll let you drive the encounters deck now. Well, that's fine if you want to give me the night off. That's okay. Well, uh, okay, so defense. Oh, dwarves all have plus one willpower right now. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I think I just send and attack both, and I I hope I don't get attacked because that's a thing, right? I just won't get attacked. Yeah, for you sure. Won't, you won't get attacked. We have sentinel on the table. We do. Mm, um. Yeah. No. Dwaylin. Oh, hey, Dwaylin. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to look at the first card of the encounter deck, Danny. Because I have Furial. What you see is that. It'll just search. That, just going to search. So we might as well get rid of it. Okay. Unless we cancel it just to give ourselves a free card. But uh, I don't think that's the way to do it. Not yet. Okay. All right. You all quested? I have not quested yet. I should be good. Uh, right? I have quested. Okay. How about that fella? That fella. Oof. That fella. Do I want the record keeper? I mean, what else does my lower money go to other than raising people up, right? 
Mm -hmm. uh, you've got you got a couple songs in there to give other people lore, and you've got a couple other lore allies, but mostly it's going to be to raise people up. Yeah. Well, I don't think we need his two right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mike, your card is... I'm just going to move the this coast... heading up here next to the flagship. That's fair. The coast of Anfloss. If we're off course, we ain't. Okay. Oh, well, back when the quest good. punished you for being behind. Yep. Remember those days? Mm, Nate, why don't you have a little boarding party? Right. Okay. That's Each okay. player reveals the top card of the Corsair deck and puts it in a playing cage with him. All right. One. Maybe you might. Two. Three. Ooh. Uh. Oh man, I didn't read my. Oh, that's fine. This is gonna be really bad when I discard randomly Gandalf. Uh. Yeah, please right. don't do that. Random discard is test of will. Mm. Oof. Ouch. And that puts a counter on him. Uh, my guy doesn't do much, but he will... Yeah, he, if you get a ship. If I get a ship, things are bad. Okay, that's card two. Card three is a ship. A light cruiser. I am... Boy, am I glad you reduced your threat. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well... Five progress is five progress. You do progress. place five progress, though. Halfway through the first one. Okay. I don't know that we traveled to the coast just yet. No. But, Mike, it is your well, decision. Because your ship, if we're not going to take a, one of the other ships down, well, will your ship be doing anything? Well, I have to take the scouting ships. Oh, you do. Oh, crap. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Um, yep. That changes a few things. So, I got that going for me. Well, let, well, no, I can't do that. I mean, I could exhaust my ship just to get us there. What do we get for being there? Just not having three threat in the board? Yeah. Um, Potentially five threat next turn. Potentially five, yeah. Because otherwise your ship is sentinel and ranged. Yeah. And could be used to help keep him alive over there. Yeah. Close. At least they're only boarding one. Mm -hmm. We might just have to take a crap ton of damage this turn and get rid of one of these ships. I saw his grapes. That's true. Okay. I told you this quest was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't say easy. Oh, it's precarious. No. Hanging on your head okay. Like you open it, you're like, oh, All right, see. thank you. All right, thank you. Hey, guys, say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so am I taking both boats? And all the borders? Is this really how you want to treat me? Uh, uh, the birthday? only other, if I do a uh, tree people now, I could maybe find something that I could handle some combat with, but I think it's the only way I could potentially do anything. Once we're set up, it's ideal if Daniel takes things and the you shoot them. Yeah, and I guess I'll have some range on the board eventually. Uh, yeah, we're just not there yet. Uh, I feel like so what I, I hear you saying is humble. I'm taking both. Oh my god, my boat went away. What'd you do? Okay, I fixed it. Okay. We'll take at least the one with the, the Seaward Tower. Yeah. No. And let's find out if we're scooping. Uh, he comes with this guy? Yeah. Oh, I can't attack the ship. Alright. Okay. Does that These change? These Corsairs are, are no joke. No, they're not. No. They're... Good golly. Yeah, you got to get rid of them fast. Okay. Um... Shoot, I almost want to take one off your hands, but I will most likely lose. I can 
hero. Yeah, you don't seem equipped for that. Um, You're just defending, right. but not okay. Well, I'll, we'll uh, be able to forward hard casting Gandalf next turn. So if we can actually survive it, um, I should get another Corsair too, right? There he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I think you've got all the hardest ones. All the worst ones, yep. Okay, so... Shoot, you have to move one resource from each of your heroes to him. The last guy you got. The raid leader. I don't see him. Oh, there uh, he is. Oh my god. Yeah. Dang. I'm not hard casting Gandalf, nor am I waking uh, Dane back up. Which was... The only way that was going to keep me alive. Okay, this is a this mm. is a start. Okay, so we'll figure it out. All right. Uh... Hmm. Do I defend one of your ships? I think I I'll... really appreciate it. Okay, it means I'm not attacking it, but I don't. I think with that one dude, I'm not attacking it anyways. All right, which one do you want me defending? Well, I want you to defend your guy first. Oh. Well, I won't. No, I won't. Okay, thank you. All right, that's just two damage. Uh, okay. All right, that's my good. guy, Thranger, will defend mine. Oops, sorry. Uh, you are uh, not, we're not, of course. So yep, we're good. Bouncing. Okay, so Mike, go ahead and take the ship on the left with the objective. Okay, let's do it. Okay, no shadow. The five. And I have not good defense, but I'm still lots okay. of hit points remaining. I will defend my other ship. You have, oh, that five. is a bounce. That's nice. Nice. Hey, you got a good ship. Okay. Now, things get now, tricky. Now things get tricky because I'll never be able to kill these things. Um, okay, so, dude, that guy hits for five. Yeah, both of them. This is totally unfair. All right. Um, what is the best way to do this? Uh, all right. I will have... Dane will defend the leader. Okay. All right, so that's a six hit. So that's three damage. Okay. I will feed Dwalin to the other five hitter. Okay. He is definitely fed. And then I got this last guy hitting for three. Um, point of interest. Yeah. If the vicious marauder attacked first, he's got a forced effect where you deal a damage to something. If he attacks before the other guy, you could put that damage on Dwalin. On Dwalin? All right, I would have done that. And I'm just deciding if I want Gimli to defend or take this undefended. I think I need him to defend. Do you? I mean, him swinging by himself isn't going to do much anyway. That would be potentially I'd a hit somebody five. For one. Yeah, not a lot. So I'd, I'd, hit, I'd hit somebody for a total damage. Gotcha. So I think, all right, so that is then a four, so two damage to him. That would have been enough to kill a Vicious Marauder. Just saying. <laughs> or it could have been a dead Gimli. <laughs> yeah. Uh, either or. Either yeah. or. Um, great. Um, shift end. Let's see if we live to fight another day. I don't know how we can. Um, three additional cards during the resource phase. And then... So air stores would go off first because it's a passive effect. And then gear downs goes. Yep. So you draw your... Was it five cards and then discard one? And I can choose any one. Any of those five, yep. Oh, brilliant. 
Uh, well, that's amazing. <laughs> that's totally amazing. Hey, I've got an archer coming. Yep. All right, go ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to exhaust Galadriel again. I would love to give it, I should give it to someone else, but I need to find Galleon. So I'm going to trigger it on myself to draw a card. Nope, look at that. Okay, we're going to play the tree people. Her. Top five cards in my deck. Hey. Play. Hey Daniel. Yeah. Did you reduce your threat twice? Glad I did. Okay. Yep. It still didn't push you down, <laughs> hey. I did, Mike. I did. <laughs> you know, hoping. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um let's I'll get an archer on the table at least. Okay. Oh, it's a defense. Right, that's... How are we going to deal with defense? This is rough. <sighs> I don't have Sentinel. Are you done? I am done. All right. I'm going to spend every dollar I own for a $4 Gandalf. Well, that's a good idea. Ooh. And I think since that one guy took all my money, I can't put armor on. I can't do anything. Um... So Gandalf, I think maybe the best thing is just to kill this vicious marauder so there's one less thing in front of me. There's wisdom in that for sure. Yeah. Because he can't one-off the captain or the leader. Yeah. Nope. And I think I that works. You, yeah, one less enemy is one less enemy. I think it's not the best Gandalf, but... Well, All right. It's what I've it's what I've got. And then I am gonna put Song of Healing on Dane. And anyone can trigger that effect, by the way. No gentlemen. Uh okay. yeah. if, see if I can. Air store over there? Well, if I go one oh, yeah, two you that puts out Steward. Awesome. One, two. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. I can't pay for him. Yeah, Mike, I should have taken that undefended last turn because it would have made Gimli attack for six. Oh, can I make this work? I actually have to pitch Steward. To do what? For what? To put out Yazan, I have to pitch Steward. Unless I'm not... Nope. No, wait. I don't. Yes, I do. Because I have two Harads and two Noldors. So I don't get the discount. Um, What you... Oh, yeah, never mind. So is that your Yazan or Steward, but not both? What if I did this, Mike, and I kept a dollar for myself? Doing what? Man the walls. Oh! Put it under my player. Yeah, I'm sorry. Put it right there. I'll put it up in the staging area oh, so you can see it. Oh, yeah, Man the walls does everything different. Uh, right. Yeah, because then I can go one, two. Would you have played that before my turn, too? Yes, you could have. Could I have? I can, right? Yeah, it's an yeah. action. Yep. So my uh, Greenwood Archer would be one less? Or because yep. my other person... Because it's whoever paid for it? Is that how that one works? No, it's just to reduce the cost of the first ally played by each player by one. But you can't quest, so Gandalf cannot quest this round. Yeah, the bad news is, is that I can't heal you, but I we need to use on. No, I think that's yeah. right. Yep. That's me. Okay. I you really wish uh, I had you buyer. Really wish I did. Bar, right. the Greenwood Archer. Sad. It's sad when he can't ready a hero. Yeah. Uh, he readied Gladriel so she can oh, be part did. of the sailing test. Yep. I was looking the other way. Good. All right. Yeah, no, he worked. Let's sail. I won't rotate it, but we're, I'll, I'll do this to say we're down by one. All right. Um, I'll do the Dream Chaser, Galadriel. Um, I'm kind of thinking my archery is going to be needed. 
Yeah. Three uh, is totally fine. Uh, yeah, this, let's just do three. In this quest, three is harsh. Three is potentially not enough, but we, maybe we'll get right. Should I do a fourth? I could do Caliborn. Or the... Yeah, she'd only be questing for two. I could just do the Weaver. Sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, I quested with these guys. You're not questing. Okay, go ahead. Card one. Done. Oh, my goodness. I told you. No one ever listens to me. Oh, oh shoot. Wasted symbol. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sorry, Daniel. Um, all right. Now we quest you poo, yeah? Now we do. So. Do you guys need me questing? Oh, boy. Um... Because I feel like... I'll just be I taking need... undefended attacks, but uh, I can I can go all out questing. I'll leave it Yazan, of course. That puts what else does Yazan do? Us, but... Oh man! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, dude, he could have killed the raid leader just by attacking. I know. If go if well, it's not like I get my money back, so. Um, but I will. Yeah, once you're. Five isn't enough. Yeah. So do you all mind if I don't quest? Uh, you want me to bring a dwarf? Would that would that mean that you'll be able to kill most of your enemies? Not most. But it would let me defend more, and I don't. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of hosed. I'll quest with Ori. Eight seems like a nice number. Sure. Let's see what the first card sure. is. See what the what card is? I'm sorry. First card is because I got Furial. Nope. No. Mm -mm. So this light cruiser is coming down because I wasn't able to play a dwarf. Oh my god. Just so you know. Oh no. <laughs> uh... Wait. Time out. Before we go any further. Because if you... You lowered the cost of the first ally we played. So I could have played my Galadriel's Handmaiden to lower your threat by one. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. So let's, I'll do that. Then I just have to take another resource away from my... Yeah, that'll work. There we go. So go mm -hmm. ahead and lower your threat by one. Okay. I still think we should get rid of that boat. <laughs> yeah, I do too. All right, Nate, your card is... A big boat. Oh, that's even worse. Mike, my card, rather, is a big boat. It's... Jesus. Search the encounter deck, just go to a... Uh, we get to add a dull I'm rough... Ooh. Objective I, know there's one, area. I know there's one in discard. Is it better to pull them out? Uh, better to pull them out of discard, right? Discard, because they have icons on them. The Tower of the Gull or the Beacon? Which one? Which one gets rid of archery, any? Or no, no, that one's still in the... Oh, no, it is here. The Tower of the Heron is here. There it is. Were they all in the discard pile? They all were. Wow. All right. And our last card is Belfalas Islet. Cannot travel if we're off course. Um, so bad news. What's that? What? We failed by one. Dang it. Which puts no. you up at 37. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did we really? Wait, because I could have committed, I would have committed the handmaid into the quest. No, wait, actually. Yeah, that's right, because it was because it was free to do that. Because it was free to do that later. Yep. So yeah. we beat it by two. We also had another another out, and that is the Belfalus Islet. We could have gone there another to out? make a make a ship out of play, so it wouldn't have engaged oh. us. Oh. Uh, okay. So gotcha. that uh, we have two. We still could do that. Although no, they're not going to engage us, are they? No. Okay. Is that in the staging area? Two. No, any any ship. Any oh. ship, as long as it's not guarding an objective, we can say is gone. So let's oh. say that scouting ship engaged with you. Is gone. All right. Okay. So we'll travel. So there. that's okay. yeah, done. All right, now folks watching, you may have noticed that round two is what we call the retcon round. <laughs> um, remember, every player at the table gets one mulligan, and we oh. used all three of ours this this turn. I, I didn't use any mulligan. 
I think we, uh, in fact, I Nate, or I stole, Nate or I stole your mulligan because oh, Nate man. used two. I, I only I used two. shuffled once at the beginning. Yeah. It was a real <laughs> I a feel real like mulligan. both of mine were the same thing because it was that man the walls. Sure. You know? Sure. <laughs> I'm really good at justifying anything. So. No, that's good. No, that's good. You're right. No one used a mulligan, folks, this round. <laughs> oh, yeah. happened. I'm going to move this shit right, down so here so it doesn't get a shadow. Is... Oh, okay. Where did you put him? I just put him next to your shit. He's hanging out. Oh. Okay, we've traveled. Is there archery? Uh, archery. There is four archery four. from the Corsair warship. Oh. That sucks. I could take um, three of it, because once I get a Sylvan Tracker out, I'll be healing that off of my Okay, I'll people. take. I'll take one. Well, remember, I do have Gandalf here to take three. Oh, that's true. So let's let that happen. Okay. And I'll take the one. That works. Okay. Yep. okay. All right. Uh, Nate, your defense. All right. Thranda will, will defend. Shadow is... All right, so that's a bounce. Okay. Um... Mike, are you willing to defend my boat? Uh, I'm better as an attacker. I think you should defend your boat. Oh, you can shoot guns, can't you? That's right. I, I'm mm -hmm. a ranged boat. That's my forte. Got it. All right. That's a bounce. All right, now here's where it gets a little wiggly-piggly. All right. Um, I'm going to... It's really unfair that these guys hit for five. Uh, a little bit, yeah. All right, so I need to heal Dane before I defend with him. Is it just discarding cards? Yep, yep. I'm going to pitch one. And if someone wants to join me at this table, that'd be great. If I had one, I would. I can okay. pitch one. Thank you. I'll, uh, oof. All right, okay. I'll that one. Okay, so I will exhaust, and I will take on the raid leader. Oh, it's for six. I take three, which is one away. That I do have a quicker than sight if we need to cancel a shadow. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yep. Um, now, this next fella who's attacking for five. I guess Gandalf can just die. That's why he's here. I do miss his four attack, I bet, though. So Gimli's hitting for plus three. That's nice. Oh, you've lost no, so a bonus. I will get it back in a second. So Gandalf will defend. He will just... Man, he dies. Mm. He'll become the White Wizard next time we see him. Okay, let's go. Be nice. I will spend a lore dollar... To exhaust him, to ready him. Sweet. Now everyone has their plus ones back. All right. Uh, I'm taking right. this undefended. Okay. I know. We are not at the worst. Oof. Okay. Yep, this is going to get real ugly. All right, now we actually could do some killing here. Mm -hmm. okay. I've got three ranged on the table. Three ranged on the table with Gimli attacking for. <clears throat> is he attacking for five only? Is he attacking for five? Okay, yeah. then him and the Silver him Wing. And on, right? Him and the Silver Wing, because the Silver Wing can only attack ships. Okay. Him and the Silver Wing can take out your boat. Okay. Which means we're in the Seaward Tower, right? Yeah, which is so nice. Sure. Oh no, we can't. Versions. We can't. We can't until we kill your Umbara captain. That has to come first. Why is oh that? right, because we can't. We can't. You can't attack the ship yep. until yep. that captain's Understood. gone. Okay, so let's let's focus on him. He needs eight hits, huh? My archer can take out his defense there, because it's got three. Well, then him and Gimli are just enough. All right. Sweet. Okay. So then, oh, were you going to attack yours? I'm sorry, Nate, it's actually your turn. No, I, because okay. uh, even with all of them, I can't do damage on him, so I'm okay. Okay, so I think Yazan, Dane, 
and Nori, do they do enough? One, two, three, three four, five, four, six, five, seven. Five. Nope, we're short. They do a total of seven? Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Wait, my silver wing. My yeah. silver wing is four. Oh, you haven't used him yet. Yeah, no. Five, six. No, four, five, so six, seven. Wasn't it just your silver wing eight. and Gimli that killed him before? Yeah. So we just need. I just need Nori. You just need Nori. I just need Nori. Okay. All right. So that boat's gone. Although you know what, I can deal damage to a non-unique enemy. So maybe if you send right. Dane too, then I'll uh, I'll damage somebody else. I think. Uh, oh my gosh. Well, yeah, I hit him, and Dane will just bounce on him, so. Yeah, okay. There's probably a better way to math it out, but I don't want to deal with it. All right. We killed some things. We killed some things. Our sailing tests are better. we have the Seaward better. Tower, which means what for us? Two extra cards Two for extra every cards. sailing test, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that'll be nice. And I got to keep my money. Yeah, you did. How many copies of Eladan and El are here in this deck? I don't know who built this deck. But to um, make three attachments, you got two dollars. Oh. That's Joe. Oh man, the fluid, fluid miner does wasn't discarded. don't think I need a... Does he give me strength help? Oh, I'm going to get rid of his on. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't think I can plan. I think we've got what I got. Oh. And you're sailing. Okay. Well, at least we have the Seaward Tower, and we have Dream Chaser. And Dream Chaser. All right, so can I get two of these out? If I gain strength... Ooh, I would ditch a test of will if I did that. Unless, yes, I can. I can, because I can say uh, I will use the last alliance to change Khalil to... I can pay for Harad or Noldor allies of any sphere. Mm -hmm. So then I can just go one. Actually, guys, I'm sorry. I will. Oops. I will pay two dollars. Sadly for him, but I reduce my threat. Nice. And I think that might be worth it. I. Uh, yeah. Okay, I am going to pitch a card to heal Dane, but for one. Thanks. Which means I get to draw a card for Galdor. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Is that my last Will of the West? It is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is not good. I mean, you got to just play it. And then I don't have Test of Will. Okay, that's fine. I just play it. I play Will of the West. I have to. Yeah, otherwise you'll just stall out in a couple rounds when you run out of draw yeah. pile. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. All right. That's what it is. Um, yeah, which means I'm just going to pitch another card to heal Dane, because why not? I don't have the money to pay for Test of Will. Oof. Yeah. All right. That's, that's me. All right. Um, Daniel, do you need some more cards? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you Galadriel this time. So you reduce your threat by one and draw a card. And oh. I'm going to actually save my money so I can play some of these better allies during my combat action. Okay. I can't wait to play a card that steals all your money because I need it. All right. Um, 
Yeah, if you play it, I might actually be able to give you the money for that, Daniel. Nowhere does it say that I have to ask. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're right. Did we give him too much power there? <laughs> no. no. Okay. Keep reducing my threat to keep me around longer. Daniel, <laughs> you get to sail. Sail? I, do I have to bring someone? No. Not with the Seaward Tower. Yeah. The tower, right? Like yeah, because that'd be four just with those two. That's four with those things. That's fine with me. If you guys are okay with that, I am. Yeah, because the only other thing I would use is Dream Chaser. It's got, I mean, it's got good stats and it's sentinel, but I think not failing at questing is good. Or uh, what's it called? Sailing. Sailing, yeah. yep, okay. All right, so we're doing four cards. I just couldn't remember if you had to commit at least a character to yep. actually simulate, nope. you know, turning the wheel. All right, card one. Two, three, yeah. oh, uh -oh. four. No. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's how this quest goes. Um, okay. This so is why I only quest with five. Yeah. Okay. So this is we're gonna set rotation to. We're in rainy cloud, right? Like almost. The uh, worst? just just yeah, sunny no. cloud. We're in sunny cloud. Oh, okay. Uh, which is still not good. No, yeah. don't you knock it down one, and then if you fail the test, you go down one more. So the Coast of Unflus is now worth two more threat because we did that. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Because hmm. I thought you start the whole quest round by dropping it down one. Yeah, which we did. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then if you fail... Did. Nope. Well, then how do you go down a bunch? You round never round. pass a test. Every round it gets worse and worse and worse. And there's treacheries that say reduce your heading. Yep. Okay. okay. Understood. All okay, right. questing. Should we get these objectives out of the staging area that we have? Uh, I don't know where they do necessarily. They're supposed but... to stay up there in the staging area, but... For reasons? Yeah, because like things can reattach to them. Oh, okay, never mind. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We just got to remember that we have them up there. No, as long as we, if there's a reason to keep them. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My first Noldor ally cost one less. I didn't count that. Oh. You know what that means? What does that mean? It means damage like Dane. It means what? Damage Dane. Because he still has his test of will. I totally oh, missed that. There's my mulligan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get to see the first card, though, because I'm cheaty furial. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want a quest. We're down nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes, please. I'll bring my middle two dwarves. Oh. Up three is not a lot. Okay, I'll put in a couple more. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, I can only take one more undefended attack, and then I'm losing heroes. So if I don't kill this guy, then I'm in trouble. Okay. Um, for y'all, you see a siege ship. Uh, uh, wow, that's an interesting decision because it's not a lot of threat. It's the archery, too, that sucks. And the fact that it'll take away our quest or our oh, sailing. It'll, it'll do that, won't it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, get rid of it. Okay, we're probably going to see it again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, also, if you let it stand, we'll have no shadow cards. Really? Oh. Okay, we're doing that. Unless something, we're letting surges. It stand. Unless something surges, which of course it will. All right, we're gonna we're gonna test that theory. So you're keeping it. We're keeping it. Okay. I like that decision. Oh, okay. Now, now there's both. Uh, you know what? This test of will is going away anyways. So that's just gone. Okay. So we make a progress. Nope. Which means that ship is still out of play. The one that we chose last time after traveling. Oh, you're right. He is out of is play. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's while that is the active location. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the fact that we don't go anywhere doesn't penalize us too bad. All right. 
I'll bring it down. Okay, so. Now, it is the end of the quest phase. This ship is now guarding that. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. Encounter phase. Okay. Now, I'm inclined to pull that seed ship down to me. Uh, by well, all that's guarding? Yeah. By all means. I mean, it does have archery, too. That's a thing we we'll have to deal with. Yeah, we currently yeah, have archery. Right now we've got archery uh, eight. Eight? Yeah, the warship's like got four, and we got two seed ships. Oh, yeah. So let me pull. I'll, let me, yeah, let me pull that down. Okay. Uh, Are you guys going to take anything or no? Hang on. Let me. I can't defend anything else. Okay. If I had like one or one more round, I think I would be able to take the warship. But not right this minute. Okay. I wish I could. Uh, God, it is I nice if you see ships you don't board. That's the only thing. I know. Um, okay. Oh, That's fine. There's no there. other stuff here. But I can attack it still, even. You're not allowed to attack the Corsair warship in the staging area. Correct. You know, I will take the seed ship. Why not? Okay. Wait. All right. Um, our boats can take archery. Yeah, but you don't. Like your uh, your boats actually will get I have faster than everything else in this quest. Understood, but I have like a defender boat, so I don't really want to take archery on it. I'm going to take one of my miner who's going to um, sadly probably pass away this turn. Okay. Uh, so seven I, more, hey. I could take. And I will put one on Gimli. I can easily take stronger. three. Then I'll take the other three. So now Gimli's hitting for six, which is a pretty good number. Where did that battle harden come from? Who's battle harden? Oh, sorry, that was me. Okay, that was a mistake. Oh. That's right. Shuffled in. Okay. So before we well, wait we a minute, attack. Hang on. Were those yeah. corsairs supposed to be shuffled into the? Were they in the right deck? Let me just. Do it. Oh, good. I think. Dragon, Dragon card cards sets them where they're supposed to, right? Yep, Dragon Cards is smart. That's good. Now, here's the deal. We had zero cards, and the encounter deck reset itself. I don't do shadows, do I? Uh, no. Because there's no surge. There's nothing that would have reset that deck. It's because I right. It's because I screwed up. Oh. And I hit that key. That's what screwed it up. Okay. So, yeah, we still have no shadows. So, we have no okay. shadows. I'm just going to shuffle all this up. Okay, yeah. that's fair. We have no shadows. Okay. Well, then, it's my defend is, is right? Yeah. Okay. All right. My boat bounces, and the Air Luin miner passes into the good night. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take two undefended damage. Okay. We could use some healers. <laughs> Mike's deck should have some healers. Do I really? You have the Imladris caregivers. Oh, so I do. I just have to um, find them. Okay. And what are you doing defensive wise, Nate? Well, Thranduil will for sure defend the pirate. Yep. The ship is a great question. I could take the five undefended on my ship. Is that a thing you can do? Ships yeah, because if it's a do. ship. To ship is always on your, oh, your right. own ship. Okay. Unless, because we don't, Mike doesn't really want to defend with his. We want his to attack. So, yeah, I'll just take, attack. I'll take the five for now. Okay. All right. Oh, that's risky, but Oof. Oof. that's the wrong way. Okay, so attack backs. I do you have, mean... I can, can you... play a Marksman of Lorien out if that's necessary. Otherwise, I would probably play my Sylvan Tracker to start my healing up. But also, killing things would be very great. I'm so the Marksman of Lorien takes shields away. Completely.
completely or minus three or two? Uh, it's minus two shield, but then she would also be shooting for four okay. this round because of Celeborn. Well, let's do some math, guys, real quick. Because I think you might actually need damage. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, really hate this raid leader, but... All right. I would be dealing one damage to the raid leader as secondary damage. And I would kill my character, and I would send four arrows to a ship. Four arrows to a ship. One damage on the raid leader who has four shields. That's the problem. Yep. I mean, I can slowly ping away at it. It's just Yazan's ability. If I do the Marksman Alorian, we could take the down to two shield. Uh, then Gimli could single-handedly kill him. It sounds like Marksman is what we probably should do this round. Because I think I can wait off on healing for another round. All right. Well, if All we right. can kill both ships, then I... Definitely in favor of that. Can we kill both ships? I don't know. It'd be really nice. I don't think we can kill both ships, even with the marksman, but I think we can maybe kill a ship and the raid leader. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's okay. send out that marksman, and then let's start doing some math. Three. Okay, so let's say the raid leader is down two shields, which means that he's really at two shields total, right? Oops, wrong one. Okay, so he is a four health two shield person yep right so he needs to be hit for six correct yeah uh, yeah that's Gimli. Uh, yeah that's a game just doing it all right Gimli. oh shoot sorry yeah, yeah. Gimli okay him. so then i'll spend a resource drop him and raise Gimli up again he's hitting for nice. six still. So my ship, I can hit for. If I use Dane, does that mean he loses all the attack bonuses? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that, what does that put me at? Plus one if I do that though. Yeah. How much can you hit for? Well, with Gimli. so with it with so there's six, or five, so seven. You have so, seven. Okay, then I then I had to use Silver Wing, and he's down to one hit point, which is perfect. Yep, and then with Yazan then it does something. Khalil and Yazan kill my guy, and they do the last damage to your ship, and we get the Seaward Tower back. Wait. Okay. Now that puts and an then... awful lot of monsters in front of our elf friend. Six. I got six attack right now. Um, one shy so of the pirate. Oh, I am one shy of the pirate. Do you have any Galadon archers in your hand? You do. I do, so I could probably... Yeah, I could put him into play next round and kill him. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I do. I think that makes sense. Sweet. Okay. Shift right. in? Uh, shift in. Our real issue is about making progress, though. Yeah, um, well, I think now you should be able to do some uh, questing, since you're... Mm -hmm. Four. I'll pitch you, which means Galdor goes off and I get to draw again. Oh, there's some really nice stuff here. I think this is the first time this deck has not found Galleon within the first four turns. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't think I... Gildor is nice. Do I... One, two, three... Alright, so I'll use Khalil's ability... Wait, I should count all this up. Yeah, Khalil's ability on him... Uh, on, or the... Last Alliance ability on Khalil. And so that's three resources. Four, five, four, five, six, seven, 
gets me them. Whoa! Let's go. All right. I like this. Things may have changed a bit after that. That really ramped up the old questy poo. It did. Now, again, I'm, uh, well, I'm sailing this turn. And we have to, mm -hmm. we are needing two symbols now. Yep. Luckily, uh, we got four from the Dream Chaser and the Seaward Tower. Yeah. So yeah. I think. Mike, are you done planning? Yeah, I'm done planning. All right. Okay. So I'm going to. Oh. Oh, it's just two. Okay. I think that works. Yeah, because I'm going for a Galad on Archer. Galath on Archer. Okay, so. Oh, wait, I should say. No, I gotta get some more archery. Hold on, I have to yell, I... At, a I have to yell at a birthday girl real quick. Wait, how you. Oh, your Galadon has to be during combat, I see. Correct, yep. Yeah. I was just debating if I need. I don't actually know if I should do the Greenwood Archer this turn. Because Galadriel, I'm not sailing. And then I could save some money for some of my others. So yeah, actually, I'm going to pull that back for now. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to save. Don't tell Daniel that I did another Reckon. I won't. Because no. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, boy. And you still haven't seen Jubire yet? No, I haven't. Not what on the one. Heck? <laughs> but I reshuffled, right? So don't oh, worry. Oh, that's true, you did. Uh, I shuffled them all yeah. the way back on the bottom of my deck. Yeah, probably. I think what's nice about having the deck go through itself so fast is that I can start actually putting damage on Hizan and Furial and actually cycle them out and still pay for them again. That is true. It's a nice little benefit. I know, I'm like, I think the combat move last time was good, but I'm going to not be able to take many more archery until I can get my tracker out there. Yeah. Uh, is it my planning? Sorry. It is. All right. I think Gimli needs to wear some boots. I agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because who doesn't want more health? Then I well, think all the splinters spend... you get from walking barefoot on a ship. Yeah, no, you yeah, definitely want he boots. He needs to spend $2 to put ring mail. Oh. I'm just going to actually give him the... Uh... I don't think he needs Raymond of War because that attack bonus is not really much. But the shield is nice. Not sure why I took his heart away. There we go. Then I'm going to. <sighs> okay, I think. Does one of you mind losing a dollar? I'll give you a dollar. Okay, so I can use as here. many characters as possible this turn. Comes in, I will use his action. And I'll take a dollar from whoever you want, Mike. Yeah, and I'm going to actually put it on Gimli. But when I played that dwarf, I reduced my threat. Sweet. Okay. Okay. I think... Oh, the ship is back. I'm going to commit... No, we haven't traveled yet. I guess it's not, is it? As long as that location's still there, we're good. Oh my god. I'm Too bad we have 20 threat this stage <laughs> Committing two... If I commit three... That's five total. That's five total, and then the Dream Chaser can do its thing. Like, Do you uh, want me to do the Dream Chaser, or do we need the I think five willpower? I'm thinking the willpower if I do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. So let's, uh, let's reveal five cards. Well, hold on, Mike. Who are you giving Sentinel and a shield to? Uh, probably to Dane. Okay. Since he can defend and ready, and he's got or Thranduil. He's at four defense right now. Maybe Thranduil. Sure. Okay, Thranduil. Yeah. All right, and we're seeing five cards, eh? We're seeing five cards. One. Two. No. Oh, that's hey. one. Yes. We got two. Yes. We're Let's back up. Go. We're back up. Okay. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Which means. <laughs> All right. We get uh, 
lose that threat there. All right. Okay. So I am I'm doing a whole bunch of questing. Well, hold up for y'all. Seize this. Ooh. Hmm. That is such a tough call. It really is. Is I'm not liking the archery anymore. No. We get rid of it. Okay. Okay. I will quest with my middle two dwarves. Was it smart to give it to Thranduil, or should I give it to another character? I was going to say, I'm probably just defending my guy, so if you wanted a different character, that could be better at Sentinel. Maybe. Give it to Dane, then. Yeah, I'll give it to Dane. Because I can ready Dane, too. Yeah, do that. Okay. There is a world where I'll need a defender. <laughs> all right card one mike you've got yourself ramming speed or not of course so doom two yep doom two looks like that's it. not great nope okay next card is this coast love it and my card is Cobus haven okay. oh Oh, love we, it. We sadly got out. That's okay. Wait. We got out of everything. So. Oh. 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 I'm moving Belfast oh. to the Matrix Day. And we are out of the <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> yeah, can we nerf ourselves? Uh oh. Story time, story time, Nate. Ah! If I refuse to read, do we get to stay at the first stage? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The Corsair fleet seems to be attacking multiple key locations simultaneously. To stop the attack, you must defend Dal Imarath from the Corsair ships. Um, okay, so we need oh. two ship enemies oh. added to the staging area. Well, should we take the little boats? Or the ones that we can uh, take over? Yeah. The skirmishers, because then we can get some more ships on our side. Okay. Mike, do you want to go put those out? Sure. For each unguarded objective in the stage ring, attach a non-unique ship to it. Wait. Are those in here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Skirmisher. Should be. So there's one. And there's the other. All right. Well, and one of those we could attach to the Seaward Tower so we can try to take over. Because what do you... Yep. You just have to exhaust at least three willpower to take control of it. No, wait. Yep. Discard allies. Yep, yep. Oh, discard oh, allies. Discard them. What? <sighs> well. I mean, I could do that because I could just, yeah, discard those. I mean, I, we I, want, we'll see how it goes. I'm in a great position to, that is to do that. But yeah. all the range is on my side. Oh, we need to hard cast Gandalf again. All the range is on your side? Okay. Like, uh, I'm the only boat that can attack it. Oh, all gotcha. right. And uh, I guess I could probably kill it. Okay. Yeah, because it... your day. other characters can still attack those. Right. That's right. All right. We've gone to battle in the bay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, where's that location where you, you reduce the boarding value on each ship? I would I like to go to Corvus Haven uh, now. Yeah. yeah, right there. That's a great one. Uh, I will totally go to take that Corsair Skirmisher. Uh, the light cruiser will come to me with boarding one. I'll take it. Or do we need, since that comes to me no matter what, I don't know if I should what? take the skirmisher because Joe didn't put a lot of uh, dwarves in this deck. Yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to yeah, have like, like a thousand dwarves by now. Yeah, I just they weren't in my hand. Um, I feel like I could take the skirmisher because eventually I'll be able to discard some allies for that. Okay. 
the only issue will be how I'm how am I defending two ship attacks on a already exhausted ship. Oh. Oh. My ship has Sentinel. Yeah, you're So close. I will take my ship. I'll take this light cruiser that I'm about to get undefended. Okay. Understanding the significance of that. Mike, that is boarding one. All right. You get. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's the second one there. Unbelievable. Oh he takes another three dollars. I can't ready up again. I just had to check mm. to make sure that uh yep, that was from the right deck. Okay. Oh, this is funny too. Oh yeah. Oh that is funny. Does oh. Uh, in all seriousness, that would, would that have changed your choice? No, I have no choice. I have to take the yeah, light. Oh, that's right. He's at thirty-seven. Okay. Um, I'm taking mine undefended. Uh, okay. It's not a. Is it a raider? No. Nope. Okay. What are you doing over here? Um, the first thing I'm going to do is do Thrandall's action to kill off this guy with the Galathan Archer. Woohoo! Nice. Okay. Um, then... <clears throat> so... Yeah, what are we doing with this? I mean... Because you got two big ships in front of you now. I mean, yeah. the, the Dream and you have less hit points than me. Yeah, that is true. Wait, how did yeah. that happen again? Say what? The Dream Chaser is basically the one ring. If it goes, we all go. Yep. But if any of your ships go, that whole player goes too. That's true. <laughs> Where's my feigned voices? Wait, Where's any of do... my useful events? Anything. Did we do archery? We didn't do archery. No, we did not do archery yet. How much archery is there? Uh, what is archery? Uh... A six this time. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I can do six. a sixth. You can do the sixth, okay. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I got Nori and Ori who can take some damage. Oh. And as we're waiting for your uh tracker, right? Yep. Go for it. You can take the one. Just one, okay. I think Mike took all the rest of them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Now this is the part that's going to hurt us. Yeah. You've got a boat that swings for four. Maybe you do take it undefended. I'll take the four undefended. Okay. So then. That's only four. Okay. All right. Then we got an attack of five. Will you defend that one or are you going to defend yours? Well. I'm taking already 11 undefended if I do that. Yeah. But I feel like it's got to be that way. Because if I take five more, yep. I'll I will be at 14 and only four away from death. I'll defend yours. We're that, not actually off course. Hit, that actually hits my ship. No, we're not off course. No, I did plus one. Oh, anyway. yep. I can read it. All right. So then I'm going to take two unopposed. All right, so the light cruiser is six plus nothing. The other one is five plus. Ugh. There's no defending character, though. If the defending character is a sh Oh, there isn't. You're right. It's just undefended. You're right. That's right, so oh. 11 damage total, though. Okay, let's not do that again. And then Dane is five on five with this guy. It's a bounce. Okay, I pull pour everything into this. I'm going to dis hold up, mm -hmm. Mike. Before, because I know we want that objective back, but if we kill the Corsair skirmisher in front of me, that puts another ship shield in front of the Dream Chaser. For if I take another ship, because then 
You're my right. skirmisher could be kind of, I don't know, just a thought. Do you have the willpower to get rid of? To yeah, because I could, I could get rid of those two, and there's three right there. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can only send four your way. How much do we need to kill? We need ten. Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have four. I have four. Okay, so yes, we should be able to do that because I, between all my archers, I just won't have a whole lot to give other places this round. That's fine. Okay. I also have only one undefended attack left in me on my ship. Okay. But uh, I agree with your assessment. Okay, so I'm attacking your skirmisher. Mike, who's he's on putting the damage on? Oh, wait a second. No, I'm I'm spending three... I, for, I forgot. I, I can actually... Do you need more from me? Me? Yeah, because I do have three range plus one ping. Um, If the ping could go on the... The raider? Because how much do you have total without your ship? If the ping could go on the scouting ship, I can take it out with Gimli and the record keeper. Okay. Oh, sweet. Because uh, I have 10 damage if... on my side, and I have 7 damage range. Wait, no, I can't, because Dane is not... So, cool. if my marksman joins your attack, and your yep. three people, we can kill both the skirmishers this round. We can. Can't we? Because if you're... If you're Silverwing, that's four, and I got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with Thranduil, so I could, yeah, we could do ten on mine, and between Khalil, Yazan, and Gildor, plus my marksman, we could do ten to yours. Oh, sorry, Gildor wasn't ready. He was exhausted. Oh, he wasn't? Yeah. I okay, that it. does change it. Okay, well, so yeah, do, no, we can't. Let's do Operation Get Nate's Corsair Done first so you're gonna do any damage to since he's first player are you gonna do any damage to your ship right now or no uh no I, i'm gonna send it all your way okay how much are you sending my way then seven seven okay so then i'll go can eight nine ping, ten yeah can you ping then mike the raid leader done okay oh. and then i will discard these two to take control of that ship now, is it, con is it taking control and, like, face up right now? Yep. After it is destroyed, engage oh, so player may discard allies four. and controls. Do what? It counts as four. Can you muster up eight? Three, five. Nope. It counts as... Oh, it does count as four. Oh, I see what you're saying. 10. Not quite enough. 2, 3, 4, 5. 10. Yep. Um, but I can... Do you need any ranged over there, Daniel? Well, I think it would be nice to hit something. I, I swing for 5. Okay. Um, what do you want to kill? Because I could I'll just... Can you send? I have a thinking. total of five ranged right now. If I don't, if I choose not to do any damage to my seed ship, you have a total of five range, eh? Mm -hmm. Um, with Gimli's five, that just means. Why don't you give me? Oh, and it's going to be a three-two split, of course, right? Which is the yep. exact what we don't need. Um, and because the effing raid leader took my money, I really hate that thing. Yeah. yeah he's the worst. He's the worst. He's gotten a lot of my cash. Um, what's the best way to do it, fellas? So you're swinging for five? Yep. Um, we could kill the raid leader with one of your threes. Maybe that's the way to we go. we got to take out a ship, if possible. But I do think... We yeah. can't defend this. The only ship we can do is five. if we all jump on the scouting ship. I think we do it. We got to get rid of some of these ships. Yeah. Okay. It's a bummer it worked out that way. So I'm sending five archery that way. 
Yep. So yeah, hit my, it, yeah. we, just, we just overkill it by one. That's not terrible. Yeah. Nope. Okay. All right. New round. Oh, well, this is exciting. I'm the first player. keeps taking my money is just killing me. Well, I think he's the only one left, so if we don't take any, any more, then the deck won't reshuffle. Then they'll just take your cards. Um, I don't know what our plan is for the dwarf. Well, you know what? For the dwarf? Is that me? I was just thinking. Hey, play Mike. A, play a tree people. Is there... Uh, you. Do you want to keep moving that mountain trader around, Mike? Uh... I was considering that. I'm also. I could also discard him to take control of the ship. But I'll, oh, I'll leave. Too. I'll leave that to Nate to decide. What was that? If I give the Blue Mountain Trader to you, or if I keep him and discard him to, for the ship. Um. Do you need the resource? No. I would almost say I think the ship would be more handy then. Yeah, agreed. Done. Get you out here with the tree people. So when you jump out, I get to look for an event. Got a feign voices. Nice, we needed that. Yep. And then, let's see, I got three. Assuming we don't need any extra combat, I will be able to get my Sylvan Tracker out during the combat phase. Yeah. Um, All right, that's my turn. I pass. If okay. uh, you know what, I'll put a if free you did take the Blue Mountain Trader, out. if you did take it, I could lower one threat by two. I don't know if that's worth it, but we are sitting at like thirty-eight. And I don't. If we get a light, oh, that's cruiser, true. I'm, at, that would... I'm at thirty-seven now, but Mike, you're not. But right? if we can get below thirty-seven, we can avoid another. Light if. If we do that, I won't be able to get my Sylvan Tracker out this turn. Oh, we want that tracker. We're taking it. We're taking the risk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just don't understand how Joe built this deck of dwarves you can't afford to play. I guess he never assumed that the raid leader would take all my money over and over. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm done. It pains uh, me. Okay. So I think I'm going to do the same trick with Khalil, although... Am I allowed to have this dwarf? I guess I am, yeah. One, two, three, four. So currently the tribesman only costs one. So Furiel's gonna get a bit of a boost. Sweet. Or Yazan. Uh oh, it's at the end of the exhaust... phase. Yeah, that's a you oh. exhaust him to boost that. Yeah, never mind. And if you trigger the last alliance, he can do that to a Noldor as well. Wow. Okay. I'm going to discard three cards then to put Eladan into play. Nice. So we've got the attackers. That's me. All right. I'm running out of table space. So now I'm we need to... Of, I'm running out of healing for the dwarves. Do you need a discard? I don't know. Um, I like, I'm going to offer it, but I don't know if I have a card I want to discard. <laughs> don't don't offer it. Okay. All right, I have to sail. You have to sail. That's the other reason to take the Blue Mountain Trader. Oh, that is true. Here's we system. lost our tower, right? Okay. It's still up for grabs if you want it. 
minutes here. Otherwise, I'd have a total of three. That's not a lot. Or I lose like a couple archery. I think let's... Because we got six archery coming back out. How do we feel about that? I think we feel crappy about that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, let's let's do the Blue Mountain. Yeah. In that case, I would have done things slightly differently. I yep, would go have, ahead. Everyone lower your threat by three, by, by two. Sorry. So, now's the time with the Cobus Haven as the active location to take this warship down. It's true. I just don't know. So maybe we don't want to... So we don't want to fly through the questing this round, right? No. Because then I could... God, I think it attacks for eight. Yeah. We could feign voices that thing. Heavy so cruiser somehow, seven. And somehow jump on it. Yeah. You know, the Should other I thing is, if we, if we just take out the heavy cruiser, then that archery gets taken away. That's true, too. All right, so we're in for four. Four or five. Let's do five. Okay. Daniel? Five. You ready? One. Yep. Two. Three. Four. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was the right call. <sighs> okay. We're still on track. That's, that's oh my God. Thanks for the dwarf. <laughs> yeah. That was good. All right, we're going to do that at least, oh. and I'll, I'll look at the first card. It's like it does hurt my questing, but I think we're okay. Are we done questing? I need to see the first card. But do we want to make oh. progress 11? Sorry, you're right. Uh, Is that too much? No, 11 won't get us out. Well, it might. I don't know. I'm going to unquest we, this. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to get out this round. Uh, here's what you see. Ooh. Uh, we're going to keep it. Okay. Wait, do we have any cards in the encounter deck? No, we're going to pitch it because there's no chance of us getting it and it's a symbol. That's okay. true. And we'll have very few shadow cards this turn. Excellent. Okay, Mike, uh, I'm sorry, Nate, your card is Starlet Sea. Okay. okay. I'll accept it. Mine is. Oh. This. Anyone test a web? Nope. Okay. So place one resource on each raider in play. So who's got a raider? Just me? Yeah. Just you. Okay, and then he attacks, right? Yeah. Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you count? You do have a buff from Marwin, by the way. I think you were okay. the last one I said had it. Do you want me to feign? Oh, it's combat action. Never mind. Nope, nope, I don't. Okay. Because I am matching him with five on five. Sweet. Okay, yeah, I would have killed cool. him if we were off course. Good thing we're not. That's a mm -hmm. bounce. And before anybody takes my money. Hey, nice. Yeah. Bastards. Then <laughs> our last card is Fogbank. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Now, sadly, we made four, which gets us out of Cobus Haven exactly. All right. All right. Which, as you all know, we wanted to keep up there. Yes. Yeah, we did, didn't we? So, Fog Bank is here, but I don't know if we want to do Fog Bank. Because we can't attack ships. Do we know that? Do we know that this is true? There's nothing up here that... Um, but the fog bank would allow us to take the Corsair warship where you only have to deal with the boarding and not the ship itself. What am I? It just happened. Why is Cobus Haven still active, but I discarded it twice? There we go. Reset your, uh, refresh your browser. Okay. 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 
sorry. Well, so nothing's coming down. Uh, say it again, Nate. I was going to say, if we want to get the warship out of there, going to Fog Bank means you only have to deal with the three enemies as opposed to the ship and three enemies. Okay. It's not who's as able, ideal, but... Who's able to deal with three enemies? That's a phenomenal question. Thank you. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't. So we just leave it up there? Yeah. Should we go to Starlet Sea then? I am in agreement with that. Okay. As first player, make it so. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay. Are we taking anything down then, or are we just leaving it all up there for right now? Maybe we leave it up. We can't try to manage what's in front of us. We can't take any undefended attacks. Well, I can no, take we can't. one, and I have to. I'm just seeing yeah. if I can get away with not. Remember, there's only one shadow card, and it's going on to the seed ship. Mm -hmm. So that should help math. And I'll probably just defend the seed ship with my Corsair Skirmisher. Right. Okay. I can feign voice something, though. Let's see if we need that. So... Yeah. If I... Uh, nope, I need... So I can't do my Sylvan Tracker this round. Why I not? Because uh, I don't have enough resources. Oh, shit. So I could do another Galathon Archer for a damage somewhere, or I could ready a hero. You know what? Maybe readying a hero after I defend with Dane yep. to keep all the attacking back up. Okay. And that's an action, so I can trigger it kind of whenever, too. Yep. Okay, so all you right. are the first defender. I am, and my skirmisher is defending. Your heading is not at the worst. It is not, so it takes one damage. Okay. This is a real kick you when you're down quest. Yep. Um, Dane will bounce with the raid leader. Yeah. Is there anybody you would like to stand up? The raid duel? Uh, and my boat will defend the light cruiser and take a damage. Okay. Actually, my boat's going to defend this guy. I take two. Okay. And then... I will play the this guy to stand up Dane. Cool. All right. Now, so that means Gimli is attacking for six. Okay, I have three arrows. Okay, the the timing of this is really weird. All right. I have three arrows for somebody. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I have three arrows for somebody. If that helps. <laughs> and a ping. Uh, I'm stealing one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy nine, and a ping. Yes, you do have the ping. I'm getting two shots out of him this turn. But yes, you'll get one ping. All right. So if Gimli is hitting for six. We do have archery six to place. Oh, Sorry. we have archery six. Oh, okay, do. I'll take one. Uh, I could put one on the Blue Mountain Trader. Sure. Two. I'll take three, four, five. I got. Are you sure, Mike? Six. Okay, we. Yeah. I'm good. I'm trying to think if I want. So, what does this raid leader have? He's got four shields and four hit points. He needs to be hit for eight, correct? So yep. let me take two of that archery on Gimli. Oh, then I'll take two back here. And that means Gimli is hitting for eight. Okay. Right? He hits for eight. So he single-handedly kills my ray leader. Excellent. When it comes to that. If we want to kill the light cruiser in front of me, I'll need 11 range. <laughs> As I say, if I don't need to give any range, I can kill the seed ship in front of me. Okay, that's I think fine. That's important because that's archery. 
Okay, so you kill the your... other thought though is if we wait to kill it, we're gonna reshuffle the encounter deck next round. Do we want it reshuffled right away back in? I don't think it's a bad thing to have it back in there. It's not okay, the worst enemy. Good. All right, so then I've got I need a total of twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's exactly. Mike, can you take Mike? Can you take exactly. one of the damages then? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. So then Gimli and my record keeper jump on the ray leader and kill him. Sadly, putting him back into the deck. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even need to call. You know what? I'm going to ready Khalil. I'm going to use my last alliance on Khalil's tribesmen. So that I get an additional attack against your boat, which will do nothing, but I can ping it for one. I will then discard Gildor and take this boat. Oof. Okay. Which gives yeah. us our sailing back. The tower back. Yeah. And another boat. A boat buffer. The boat's nice. So we have both boats. All right, are we shift ending? I think so. There's Jubire. Hey! Discard that to draw a card. There's another Jubire. Okay, excellent. I'll discard a card to heal Dane one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He'll remember you in song. Oh, good. Yep, that's important. Does anyone want the Blue Mountain Trader? I guess you might as well keep it for now. Unless you I don't know if... Uh, I'm, do you want the I'm about to sail, and you can take one of my spirit money. No problem. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, the sailor might want it. So there you go. All right. Yeah. Take a spirit dollar. Um, I will spend $2 off Gimli for a battle master. Love it. Who right now is plus four attack. Uh, He's only plus three. Oh. But I've got Dane standing, my friend. You're right. You're right. Um, so he was two dollars, and I don't think I can afford anyone else. Okay. Does it make sense to put Hardy Leadership out though? With all the arrows. Yes. Flying around. <laughs> yes, it do does. It. <laughs> so Hardy Leadership on Dane gives every dwarf. Love it. Let's go. And then I'll be right back, gentlemen. That's me done planning, though. Okay, so Jubire only costs four given my ally distribution currently. So if I pitch one card, two cards, three, four money from Khalil, that puts out Jubire. And that leaves a resource for Hasty Stroke. Nice. And if we don't use it, I can heal Dine. Awesome. Yeah, because if I... I'd almost rather use my uh, quicker than sight so I can start shuffling in and out since I can't find. Oh, yeah. I still haven't found, uh, what's his name? Galleon. Galleon. I'm just like, <laughs> there's three loser. copies of him in here. <laughs> He's drinking too much wine in the basement. Boo. <laughs> uh, all right, so Daniel's going to be sailing. Mm-hmm. We do have the tower. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. That is the best one to have out here. If we could just keep hold of it, that'd be great. I mean, we could just get another one. Just. Just. <laughs> I tried to be... Oh, uh, let me just do this. There we go. Do, do, 
do? Uh, we don't want to blow out of here either, right? No. So I probably should do the great the dream chaser for sailing rather than questing. I can quest for a whole bunch this time. Okay. Good, because I'm not. I didn't play any new allies, so I won't be able to. What's the strategy for the ship? Your skirmisher. I guess just hold Mine? it back for defense. Mine. Oh, I should hold yours. It back yeah, for I'd probably say you defend with it so you can attack with your ranged ship. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, what are we doing? Are you questing? Uh, you are sail. sailing. I am sailing. All right. Well, here's the thing. Here's the I've thing. got we've got the tower and I can use dream chaser so there's four right there. And we're just one off course? Yeah. I believe so. I'll take it. Okay. You ready? Ready. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got two, so <sighs> All right. I like how every time we sail, like everyone just holds their breath. <laughs> oh yeah, it's always, it's never not going to be like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pitch an Elrond's council and lower nice. my threat. That's got to happen. Uh, I think yeah, Dane's going to get my defense boost. Okay, thank you. Did you get your willpower boost from Elrond's council? Sure did. Okay, cool. And that's me. Um, I'm going to take this. This might be the time to take the warship. If we can get out and head to the fog bank, right? Do we just want to make two progress? I mean, we can make some more because we got 16 to get through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get a bunch of progress out. Have you guys all quested? And we're making yeah. one. Yep, there's a lot I of I could threat. send my skirmisher, but then I won't have a ship to defend. Well, if we can get to the fog bank, you won't be able to defend anyway, right? That is true. So That's go a good point, which means I can put in another three. Okay. And if I take that boat, I'm taking three dudes with it. Now that's the issue. I've got a Jubair. Okay. If I don't take any enemies, maybe giving Arwen's boost to Thranduil so then I can sentinel that's, one of those guys. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. Okay, let me take a shield off of Dane then. Now that we've made our plans, let's watch them get down. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Let's mm -hmm. watch them mm -hmm. totally implode. Well, then I will quest with these guys. Okay. I think that's, that's, that's healthy. A, that's another six. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. My card is a scouting ship. Okay, so that's... It's coming down. Not if we go to the fog bank. That's true. Right. All right. A siege ship. Okay. And ramming speed. Doom 2. So that's just Doom, Doom 2. two. Okay, we make nine, which is all right. Two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not bad. We'll travel to the fog bank. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, this is. I'm actually really glad you're first player, Daniel, because we get to see what your bad guys are before the rest of us take a shot. Yep. Uh, okay. By the way, well, this, the seed ship now has taken control of this. Was that at the end of the quest phase? End yeah. of the quest phase. Okay. All right. I will bring down the warship. Okay. And he comes with three friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Your friends. Oh, come on. I think you, you need to pick better friends. takes all my money, I'm going to lose my mind. You're going to get both of them. Okay, when he engages me, discard a random card. Can't attack ships. Did I just... Okay, 
and a cunning pirate. I will discard an attachment I control. I'll discard boots. <laughs> Take that, cunning pirate. <laughs> um, but I must discard a random card from my hand. Right? Yep. Yep. And that is Raymond of War. Probably that, the best one for him to take. And that dickweed gets two. Two. Okay. So you mean you need my defense then, right? Well, are you guys taking anything? Well, that's what I was debating. Do I need your defense? I don't know. I've got Dane who can defend twice. You guys have sentinels. I'd rather keep Dane up. I'd rather defend once with him so then I have all the attack bonuses on everybody. Because that's how I'm going to get through things. Sorry, how many defenses then do you have? Could you keep them up? One? One with him. And you'd have one with Thranduil. And that's it, eh? And then Jubaira, I was hoping. Damn, that means I can't take another one. Unless I get really low. Well, maybe I will. I'll probably well, lose. Remember, you can take a boat and they can't attack. Yep, boats won't attack this turn. Yeah, it's the thing that comes out of that boat. Although I do have... Oh, no, I have I have Khalil's Tribesmen. Yeah, I'm totally taking this one. Can you take that? Yeah. I could take the siege ship again. But if my... If Thranduil's going to Daniel, then I probably don't want a boarding. Yeah, I think that's what the we The siege ship has no boarding. Yep. So I'll take the siege ship. Okay. Now I will manually do a little bit of um, shadowing. I believe it looks like that. Okay. Okay. I so the first, go ahead. I suppose after now that we've done all the math, I was like, I wouldn't mind actually using a feigned voices to bounce my uh, minstrel to try to find some of my other helpful events. Heck, do it. So is is there an enemy that we want to just... I wouldn't mind the Umbar captain not attacking. Yeah, he's okay. brutal. So let's just... That happened. Okay. He had a... Ooh. Take yeah, that money. that would have been really bad. Uh, that opens up me using my that tribesmen up... for a double Yazan. Okay. And it also opens up you not needing to Jubai or me or. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. All right, oh. so hold on. I'm first, right? My vicious marauder, I'll defend it. So he deals that two damage. Bounce. That's what? He deals two damage because of his. The creatures I control, correct? Yeah. Well, characters. I will give them <laughs> their creatures, their dwarves. Um, I'll give them each to my record keepers. Then. <laughs> I'm going to stand up, Dane. Oh, that could be dangerous, man. If you ever lose that attachment, <laughs> that's uh, fine. We're uh, we're too far gone. Okay. Right. And then, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah, I just or... discard his attachment or his shadow. His shadow. Okay. And that's a bounce, right? Yeah. So Gimli's actually at plus five attack. Okay. So then was Thranduil not needed? He was not. Oh. Oh. Unless. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Unless you want to sentinel defend the Umbar Raider of Mike's. There's no point. I've got you buyer. Oh. Yeah. That works, because then I can just try to either kill the siege ship how did Jubair stand up after defending for me? He didn't defend for you. You said you didn't want him. No, I said I needed him or Thranduil. Oh. You, you took Thranduil. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, Thranduil. Is there one that I could defend? Yeah. There was no the, shadow. And the Vicious Marauder only attacks for... I, I got a defensive four, so... Yeah, you were good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right, attacking back. One, two, three. 
Um, I hate to be that guy again, but we do have six archery again. Uh, I can take one, two, I got three. One. I can take I can, one. I can take two. There you go. That's enough. Although I'm pretty tapped out now when it comes to damage. Uh, okay. So, fortunately, I'm gonna need you. All right. On so, me. if we if we math if we math oh. things out here, my Airborne Battlemaster is hitting for five. Mm -hmm. Gimli hits for seven. Okay. Daniel, uh, you get three, yeah. one, and one from me. Lovely three, way. Three, one, and one? Yeah, lovely way to make the math. Three, happen. one, and one, you said, right? Yep. Does that include pings or not? That includes not. pings. Okay, Actually, you three, get. Three, one, and one. You get four, one, and one. And four, I have one, a and one. ton of range to throw out, too. Okay, I can't so kill my ship on my own, though. We can't attack ships, can we? Nope. Oh, you're right, we can't. Bug bank. Well, can allies attack ships or nobody? Can no attack fog ships. bank. Yep. No ships can be damaged, right? Okay. So okay. I think we should be able to do everything. So dead. yeah, I was gonna say because I got every everything. Two, four, dead. six, nine range to throw yeah, out there we, too. We did it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think there's any way any of these guys. Uh, wait. Ooh, ooh, cannot be attacked. But Yazan okay. can still put damage. Yazan can on ping them. them. Yep. Ping, ping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to... Love it. Uh, do you want to take one of those yeah, things okay. on the seed ship that's got one of our objectives, Mike, or no? Uh, well, yeah. You've definitely got the heavier hits there, so yeah. With okay. your dwarves swinging those axes over there. That's true. Let's do that. Um, Mike is the planner. No, oh, Mike is the planner. Okay. Uh, one, two, and discarding two cards to put out two healers that I unfortunately can only power use once. So I'm going to immediately heal up one of my heroes. Okay, I'll heal. Uh, yeah. And that gives me a lot of Ooh, they don't exhaust to do that. No, they don't. Okay. Good thing I'm first player for the sailing. Uh, yeah, that's me. Yep. Okay, that's you. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to spend one resource to give Galadriel her ring. Does someone have a attachment in their discard pile they really need back? Uh, if I got Olorian back, that would be awesome, but it's not exactly a... Well, just make sure it's on the top. This dwarf is coming out, so... It's just got to be the highest the top, one? The topmost attachment. Okay, yep. And if you want to pitch it out of your hand or something for a healing Dane, go ahead. I won't stop you. I would, but I don't have it. Oh. It's in my discard pile. <laughs> <laughs> Is it at the top? Uh, well, it's the bottom, but it's the topmost attachment. Perfect. Let me know when you're ready. I know. Um, I think, yeah, let's return one of you to play an elf guide. Going to add a resource there. So there's two. She's got the... So I'm going to play that out. Look for an event. Starting, starting. Daniel, your star is coming out to play. Um, All right. kind of. That is me for this round. That's you. All right. 
Yep. I will reduce by one my first ally, which is an Erebor Hammersmith, will reduce my threat. He will come out with the usual dwarf nonsense. Giving Olorian back to you, and I think I'm done. Thank you. Okay, so sailing time. Uh, we don't have that objective, so I will go one, two... Do you want the dream chaser? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Four? I think four is okay? Yep. Or should I go five? I'm going to go five. Who's getting her sentinel in defense? Probably Thranduil again. Unless yep. Dane really wants it. No, that's fine. Okay. Thranduil. Dane has only one defense in him this time. That's the thing. Okay. And once he does that, I attack for less. But I should be able to jump these ships in front of me if I don't defend with him. So that's a thing to think we about. All right, anyway, sailing four? Yep. Or five? Five. Uh, five. One, two, three, four. Yes! <laughs> I feel like we have sailed by the skin of our teeth a number Ooh. of times in this game. Five is the way to go, apparently. All right. Yep. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. What am wow. I in for? Okay. I think we need to get out of the fog bank and hit these things. Yeah. Yes, we do. All right. So has everyone questioned but me? Uh, yep. All right. I wouldn't mind leaving Ori up because he hits for three. But that's only eight progress. And Your we need Blue five. Mountain Trader is not doing much. Okay. Or was he your uh, cheapo defender? No. I like him around being able to pass to sailors. Oh, by the way, Mike, did you need him to sail? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, what about your record keepers difference. since they can't ready anyone this round? And I guess their one attack is not all that meaningful. They can't attack. All yep. right. They suck. <laughs> All right. What's the first card? They're like book nerds. All Nerd. right. For y'all, you see. Yeah, oh, no. Nice. Let's go no. Why? Why? It looks friendly. Well, archery four sucks. Okay, you're right. But... Oh, we didn't have the four archery because you engaged it last round. Oh, we all get four hit points back. We only had two. Yeah. I don't even remember who um, I damaged. I know I damaged the battle master. Yeah, I'll I'm take just... one off. I can take one off my tracker, I know that. I'll no. take one off the battle master. So that's three, and I'll take one off him. There we go. Okay. So I say leave him, Mike. You sure? Uh, Is someone going to take him down right away? No. I'm not. I don't think we want to see him. I don't want that thing. Okay. He's gone. So instead, our first card is Ramming Speed Doom 2, right? Yep. Okay. There's the timer in this quest. Card 2, the island that we all like. Oh, Ooh. lovely. Oh, that's so good. And a light cruiser, which is definitely coming down mm -hmm. with boarding 2. Lovely. All, all right. right, we made 9, so that basically... Clears the fog bank and puts four more. So yep. we can travel. We can make a ship go away. Like, cool. say, your light cruiser. Yeah, since I'm about to get another one. Mm -hmm. Or that one. The one that's in the staging area. We just have to because then we don't have to deal with boarding. Oh, let's do that. All right. It can be anywhere. 
Just as long as it's not guarding an objective. All right. Let's put him out of play next to me. Not in my discard. Here we go. Oh, can I do a thing that I meant to? Well, it doesn't matter. I Sorry, forgot to put what? Bofer. Did you want a mulligan? Is that what I heard? Nope. Nope. I forgot to put Bofer in, but we didn't need him. Mm. So I will... Do my cat. All right. Um... Okay, so that's it. Okay. Does anyone want to pull down a heavy cruiser? Nope, I'm good. I'm happy. If I add <laughs> one more resource, I could, but... All right. I believe I we have archery to we got deal here. with. I will put one on my battle master. I can take one because it'll heal for free. Yep. You are now the archery person. Okay. Okay. Shadow up. I'm going to defend this with my skirmisher. You're not at the worst. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to defend mine with the skirmisher. Plus one. Okay, that's two damage. All right. Now here's where it gets a little funky for me. Daniel, quick uh, retcon. Actually, yeah. no, I, I think it's too late. I could have healed you an extra damage, I think. With what? I think I discarded a card when I could have actually healed you. It's all good. Oh, whatevs. All right, so I will defend. Oh, man. Hold up. Hold up. Holding. Holding. No, never mind. All good. Okay. Okay. If I defend the Corsair warship, I will die. Oh, that's bad. If I take it unopposed, I will die. That's if not I good. if I defend the light cruiser, I may live. Two that does six. I would die if I defend. I might live if I defend the light cruiser. I will die from the Corsair warship. I will die from the Corsair warship. Hmm. I I think this is the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Bane voices anyone? Uh, no, I the wish. only thing that the only thing that keeps us alive is the Dream Chaser defending. Dream Chaser is already exhausted, though. He's ready on my screen. He, he uh, did the, the skirmisher. He did the sailing test. All right, let me um refresh my screen. Oh, sure enough, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there um, any way you could replay the minstrel and maybe get a fade of voices? Is there a weird trick you um, do? I, so I could, yeah. So I could, oh, uh, yeah. Um, yes. So I could have played it to cancel the shadow, which would have meant my Corsair Skirmisher only takes one damage as opposed to two. Then I could play it using Thranduil's action. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. And then hope. <laughs> and hope has failed us. Oh, no. I found a tree, people. <gasps> Let's see here. Because the tree, people... Because okay, what do we... We just need an extra... We need a feigned voices, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so... We can tree people and other minstrel in? I, I can love try. This. I love this. Okay, I'm going to take back a Greenwood Archer to play Tree People to search the top five. Uh, nope, just a quicker than sight. Oh. There is no hope for us. Uh, okay. Um, so that means... I die, right? That does mean you die. All the dwarves on my boat sink. Apparently dwarves can't sail. Dang. Man. We were going to do some good work on these boats. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's hits for eight. I mean, yeah. 
Well, once my boat is gone, it, like it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, you're eliminated. Does it make sense to take a shadow card away? Like, where do these things go once they I am eliminated? These bounce right to staging, right? Yeah, they go to staging. And we'll lose their shadow cards, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is assuming, let me ask you this. This is assuming we want me to die and not Mike. That is true. So let's let's actually think about that. And uh, <laughs> do, do I get to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, of let's course. see here. Like I'm saying, uh, like, who's the most? Who is the most useful to keep going? And why? I mean, I see a lot of pros to Mike being around. Fur y'all, Jubire. Yeah, I think that's gonna. It's because and, of his allies. I also, though, I mean, I think once one of you goes, the other two are really going to unravel very quickly. Probably. Oh, that's true. We could give that's it, like, true. one round just to see. Just to see. So why don't why don't I die, Mike? I'm, okay. I'm happy to die. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we can call it quits after a round. I will d die defending the warship, though. Damn it. Nice. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I'm going to take, I'm going to put taking water on it. I know what's oh, happening. Sure. What? It's what's happening. It's what's yeah. happening. And then undefended. Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm afraid that there are no longer dwarves floating. They have all gone to the bottom of the sea. This is up. There all you right. go, fellas. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. I can actually keep his Zan up, but I want to hit with him twice. You only need nine to kill your bow, Mike. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. killing him, but I want to ping something in the staging area. Okay. And then I can ready his Zan. And I can swing we and help you. Ping the heavy cruiser so we can get that other objective. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we're... Yeah, let's do that. I'll ping it twice. Yeah. And then... Oh, no, I can't. I've been cheating. That's only limit once per phase. Oh. They anticipated oh. that. I mean, that's why we're winning right now, for sure. <laughs> for sure, yeah. All right, um, so then my boat... I've got one, two, three, four, five. You just entered, so you do have a boost. Six, seven. Plus I'm attacking four for, for seven. Plus four for me. Is that so not enough? Four... Oh, it does, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it kills it. Yep. Oh. So we have our tower back. Yeah, we do. Okay. Good luck. You're down 25. Uh, wow. That was the other reason <laughs> to kill the dwarves, because they didn't quest as much. <laughs> Hey, there's my headdress. <laughs> yeah, there's my headdress, all right. Nice to get that out. Return you by playing Elf Guide to add a resource. Oh my. Let's go ahead. Spend two. Look at your hand. You got a lot of cards, Nate. I know, and I can't find like Galleon, which would make this deck just start. And Ninja. Flying, but... Well, Ninja's already out. Oh, okay. Um, host of the Gal. Oh, I love host of the Galadrim. Right. That could be so bonkers. So, fun fact: I can quest for a lot now. That cool. is a fun back. Because uh, that headdress, I can last alliance it. Wait, you get to heal, you get to heal, you get to heal. I might as well heal one of my characters, too. Although, no. Oh, and I would have... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. I think I'm done with my planning. Alright. 
I just uh, forgot the headdress. Sweet. Uh, time to sail. That's me. <clears throat> Tell me how many. I'm going to go... I don't know that you use Dream Chaser anymore. Every boat, I mean, at least That's two boats true. are coming down. That is true. Okay, so we got one, two, three. We'll go four. And those things reboard, don't they? Ugh. We'll go five. Okay. Oh my god, they really do reboard. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. That warship going back up. All right, five, you said? One, it, two, nice. three. Uh, this is oh, quest. Oh, we got to reshuffle. Well, is this quest yeah. when it happens? Yeah, it's okay. quest. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, three, four, five. You got three. Shoot, sorry. Lots of symbols. No, you took a lot of good treacheries out of there. All right. Quest away, gentlemen, and good luck. Uh, I'm lowering my threat by three. I'm really not helping much this round because we want both my ships ready, I'm assuming. Okay, I'm using the headdress. Otherwise, I could give five more with uh, Dream Chaser, but Up by that defeats why I didn't. Yep, there we go. And it's only two cards, yeah. right? It is yeah. only two cards. Okay. And I'm punish you. With Wait that a minute. That means that light thing. cruiser is still out of play. That's true. Potentially. Because that's just a, from the active location. Yeah, I'm gonna put a time marker on him. Or no, we'll just put him there. Okay. Good idea. All right, you guys ready? Yep. No. But it's resources oh, wait, and order in play. Oh, yeah, for real. That's what you uh, see. Yeah, we keep it. Cool. Surge is yeah, I think it works. Uh, it'll gain Surge. Yep. That's all. Okay. That's all. Boom, it surges into boarding party. Oh, we each get a Corsair. That's fun. Don't worry, Daniel took the really bad ones. You lit one additional shot after engaged player collects resources. Okay, so if I kill him first, I'll be okay. Well, these guys are easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last card is Kobe's Haven. Oh. So you guys made eight, which is... A lot. Okay, move to victory display and three more. Oh. You're two away from getting out. Ah. Well, except we can't get out while there's one guarded objective, objective so until we yeah. kill the heavy cruiser. Let's go to Kobe's Haven. Yep. Well, are you going to take the things? Uh, oh. There's some things you have to at 37. Well, this, right? this guy's the back. The light cruiser's coming down for sure. They're both coming yep, down. Yep, this guy's back. All right, both cruisers are coming down with boarding one now. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's smart. Yep, I'll take mm -hmm. one. I'll take one. Are you taking... Is anyone taking the heavy cruiser or no? Not Getting if the it? other light cruiser's coming down too. Okay, it is. Unless we just want to end it in a you know blaze of glory, real blaze quick. Blaze of glory. <laughs> I think you guys have a shot, so I don't think you should do that. You know what? Yeah. Hmm. What if? I don't know, like, because we could do something like defend once with the corsair skirmisher, and then take an undefended attack and throw that damage on the skirmisher, because you're allowed to do that. That's true. It is a ship objective. But you still have. But um, then, are we going to be able to kill anything? Yeah, no. You each not. have. You each have yeah. one boarding, Mike. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. We skipped the boarding this phase. No, we can't skip. Uh, okay. I know I was being funny. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe you do reverse the cunning pirate and the umbar raider, however. Do we? Because Nate is first player. Oh, I just picked randomly from within that deck of cards. Okay. I don't know. I don't actually know which side's the top and bottom. I just pick random cards. 
<laughs> I love it. All right. All right. Uh, Mike, you've been engaged. You must get rid of an attachment and give him money. Uh, it's going to be to the C. All right. He takes $1 from you. Okay. Which means he's that. That's okay. And when he attacks you, he's going to steal some money there. Uh, Only if Nate. I have money. That's true. If you get rid, get rid of all your money quick. All right. Um, you guys ready for some shadow cards? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why Bring not? Oh, that's the spirit. Okay. So I'm going to exhaust Olorian and use Thranduil's action. Um, do you want to ready a hero over there? Or do I want to put a Galathon Archer and do one damage to someone over there? Hmm. Otherwise, it could ready Celeborn and he could participate in some combat. Maybe Celeborn. I don't know okay. what I'm doing yet. So. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, we do have four archery. And I can take, let's see here, one, two, I can take all of it. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, some actual defending has to happen. Yeah. Um, um, so I'm first player. Attack a six. So the skirmisher will defend the cruiser? my cruiser. Okay. He's not a raider. Sweet. So I take two damage. All right. And then Thranduil, he will defend the Infiltrator. Boy, not having your Elven King is awful. Yeah, I, like, okay. I haven't mouse. found Elven King, haven't found Galleon. It's been great. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, How many... we got pretty far without those things. So. Right? How many defenses with Jubire do you have? Only one. Although you need them both, don't you? I only have one. All right. I, I don't okay. need need. I'll just end up killing Eladan. All right. Well, then I'll just have Celeborn defend then. All right. One damage. I think. Yeah. All right. That's my defenses. All right. I'm taking Wait. off. We take two damage. Two. Yeah, when he attacks, he steals your money. Oh, you have no money. I don't have any money. Brilliantly done. Thank you. Ah. Uh -huh. All right, I will defend the light cruiser. Light cruiser. Okay. No shot. And I guess I'm going to defend the other guy. All right, we're good. Two damage. Awesome. Am I actually hurting anything? I could just Mike, barely take. Why does Elro here have two shields? Because his Elidon's brother's in play. play. Okay. I see him now. It's all coming back to me. Okay, so seven okay. plus five. These should be orc raiders, Twelve. Mike. I know. And then we'll... All right, attack Maxis. What do you all got? Well, I think... Let's see, I got one ship for four, three, two, and three. <sighs> four, three, two, and three. Kills your light cruiser. But if I, if I send four your way... My ship can mm -hmm. only attack ships. Yep. That's... There's eight. Then you need four arrows. But I'd love to have. I'd love to kill the infiltrator before he steals a resource at the beginning of the resource phase. If I give three more, so eight plus three is eleven. Maybe I don't kill a light cruiser quite yet. Well, hold on. If Yazan pings the light cruiser, it's over after this. 
Is uh, it? If yeah. I do, uh, that if means you hit I'm the not... light cruiser right now for eleven with what you've dropped. Yeah, yep. that means I'm not killing anything on my side. Oh, I guess I could kill myself on sailor. Oh. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll kill myself on sailor, which pings the light cruiser. Okay, so light cruiser dies, and then my two elves will shoot the infiltrator. Done. Okay. That's at least people dead. Oh boy. Are there seed ships out to take your stuff? No. Nope. There are not. Okay. Oh boy. Um. Wow. Oh, I found the Elven King. There's some good stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to get a Light of Valinor out. Look at all that money Mike's got. Yep, I'm going to get another one of these dudes out. Because they're great. Yeah. I'm going to give myself more money. Reset. I don't need the money. I need the healing. Would you guys get more room if I changed the to a two player game or would that mess everything up? I don't know. I, no I kind of don't want to see. I think you'd lose control because you wouldn't be able to sit down. Oh, okay. Are you guys okay, like, barring over to your stuff? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right, and then I just quickly doing an Elven Elrond's Council when the quest phase happens. Okay. All right. So you're done with planning? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who is first player? I guess. Um. It is Daniel. You, Mike. <laughs> is there any way to tell the game that I'm out? I don't think so, but I I am now first player. So go ahead. Okay. So my turn. Uh, I did that. So now. I'll spend one resource to get the Elven King out. Exhaust Olorian. Spend a lore to put Minstrel back out there. And that found me. Ooh, okay, found me tree people. Let's. Let's return you. Play tree people. I can't adjust table size at all. The menu is the menu thing has changed a lot now that we started. How's that? How'd you do that? Change the table size. How come I can't do that from my menu? Oh, you ran the game. Yeah. Are you still oh, able? God. You probably can't interact with stuff anymore. Um. Oh, no. Come back. Probably not. But that's all okay. right. That is my planning. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. I can do yep. the same trick on Kaliel's headdress. Um, you have to sail. Oh, I have to sail. That's right. But we do have our objective, and I have Dream Chaser if we need it. I will just send two. So we have four. That's good enough, right? Sure. Sure. One. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh. We look got that. it. We got it. Okay. Woot. So same trick. Um, I'm giving Thranduil the defense. Sounds good. You guys do know that if you win, I'll be sad, right? Oh, yeah. Because uh, I meant sure. I, kept, I kept you from winning. Uh, Furial. Or did your sacrifice allow us to win? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's that. I'm sure it's thanks, Nate. Yeah, I'm sure it's that. <laughs> um, taking on water. I mean, we could just put it on the Dream Chaser and slowly kill it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could just throw it on one of our objectives. I think that would make the most sense, especially because we don't have um, condition removal anymore. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Well, let's hear how much damage is on yours. Because mine's going to take one more hit, and it dies. 
Oh, so put it on Nate's. Okay. This mine's got more damage. Wait, on when it. it exhausts, it takes two. Oof. So it'll be gone before it defends. Oh, yeah. You're right. So I gotta take it. Yeah. All right. Last card is a hey, scouting ship because, of course, because of course. Yeah. Why not? Why not? There's so many boats in this. Oh boy. Oh boy. And so we keep. Yeah. Sadly, Mike has to take it. But you guys have progressed way through. Yep. Oh no, you haven't. You can't You've get. You've got to get yet. the heavy cruiser. Okay, I think this is where we start to die. Uh, can I actually take that and not? No. I mean, I could take the heavy, the scouting ship. Nothing else is coming down. Oh boy! Oh boy! We are just uh, in all sorts of treading water, aren't we? Yeah. Why can't I turn Jubire into a ship with the tribesman last alliance? There's no way I can't use ship trait. Uh, where do you want to go? I don't think I want to go to the coast. I don't think we travel anywhere. Nope. Okay. You'll take this. Do you mean it's, yeah? I can take the scouting ship. Do I just take the heavy cruiser? Nope. I'll die. I will literally die. Yep. Okay. No, let's leave it up. Boarding one. Woo. Okay. Okay. And here we go. I take two damage just for exhausting. And wait, yeah, it's it's taken on water, all right. And then, uh, you know what? I can defend this one. Maybe. Yeah. Which means I have a Juvire for you. Oh, sweet. So I might as well defend your Bar Raider. And just say goodbye to that shadow. Which is not a shadow. But I would like to get rid of my money before he steals it from me. How can I do that? All right, we're going to return Glathrum Minstrel for Elf Guide to add a resource. That way I can use his action to spend two resources uh -huh. and we'll drop the Galath and Archer out and we can ping someone not engaged with me. Heavy cruiser. Sounds good. Awesome. Then you defended the raider? Yeah. So that's done. Um Okay, hmm. Corsair Skirmisher will defend the scouting ship. Okay. And then Thranduil will defend the Infiltrator. And that is now plus two, so he's a five. I think Quicker Than Sight says no. Or should I not use it right now? That's just one damage. It's fine. I'll heal that. So yeah, I'll take that. Excellent. Did you all win yet? I stepped out. Uh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> That's it right there. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Took the four archer damage. Twelve kills my light cruiser. Let's go. And puts a ping damage on the heavy cruiser. I am then Sweet. going to ready. Is on. Okay. Uh, he's now a four. Do you by any chance have Sweet. three to send my way? Uh, do... Yeah. Okay. Please do. Got it. He's dead. And then I ready Yazan, and now he's a five going your way. Uh, Mike? 
You discarded the Tower of the Gull. Was that? It was under the guy Mike just killed. Yeah, he was I think shadow. that was the shadow. Oh, okay. I was gone when you were yeah. doing their fights. Okay. All right. So I've got five coming your way. Okay. Five um, can kill the infiltrator just right away. So let's go ahead and do that. Done. Then my scouting ship. I need nine. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't nine, he get ten. a bonus? Who? Doesn't one of your archers get a bonus for coming out this turn? Oh, you're right. So you can, yeah, you still have an archer. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. So that's one, two, Mike, three, how did you one, get two, three, four. Kizan three times. I have two Khalil's tribesmen. Yeah. But they don't ready him. They don't ready him, Mike. Oh, you're right. They don't. I've been reading that wrong. So, so one here. guy is still alive. Here, I'll do that. Khalil. I'll do that. I'll do that. Khalil does the discard that can ready a Harad character. So I did the discard instead. I just wouldn't okay. have played him. Which means I didn't send five your way. Okay. So that one infiltrator is still with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fully healed up. Uh, because I don't know how to play this game. That's why I didn't. That's okay. Well, dude, you know, usually we have some snot-nosed person in the chat to tell you this stuff, but maybe you haven't checked it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do that now that you guys voted me off the island tonight. So oh, I'm going to be wow. that guy, Mike, that checks every one of your plays. Wow. Okay. I just killed the scouting ship. Now that... Now oh. that now that Yazan, six, some so rando one, two, ally, has killed three, 37 four. people and done 28 damage and pings that were all <laughs> illegal. All right, that's again, my attack. Again, again, this is why we're winning, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, is, it is Mike's creative Yazan play that has... Actually, he's probably killed two people he shouldn't have in this game. Oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Galleon! Galleon. Oh, Galleon. Let's game, go. Game over, Kobas Haven. It's true. He's the real MVP. No. All right. So, Mike, you turned it into a two-player game. How did it know who to keep? Or did you just, like, kick me out? What is? Boom. How did you do it? Uh, it takes the first two. You were third player. Oh, that's fascinating. So just... Huh. So you can only do it if it worked out the way we it did tonight. Uh, yeah. Nice. It was meant to be. All right. That is me. I'm playing Galleon right now. Nice. Well, you're sailing, too. Yeah. Could be a Galleon, great time. The most fun card in the game. All right. Let's sail. You're up, Nate. Yeah. We've already got two. So we got lucky? two. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, all right. So we got two. There'll be four with the Dream Chaser. All right. Or do I just... Actually, wait. No. Let's go these two down here. There's four. Let's go four. One. Two. We got it. Uh, one second. Wow. Oh my goodness. Ooh. We got four symbols. <sighs> okay. You like Kay. that. All right. Now I'll put him out. Uh, Yeah, I'll do the trick on. Uh... You should, Mike. You should have as many of those out as you can since they ready all your characters. I know. I, I <laughs> It's the best way to play this game. Uh, <laughs> and boost them. See, See Mike used to make fun. Nate, Mike used to make fun of me because I would always advocate yeah. not reading actually all of the card, just oh, for what sure. you wanted to read. Yeah, but Mike's taken it a step further by adding text that isn't there <laughs> by just making stuff and up, not reading yeah. things. It's yeah. great. 
you know, I'm just happy to know I'm not the only guy that does it. So we're, yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, holding stuff back. How great could the tribesmen be? <laughs> That's what Mike says. What if I made this card? <laughs> I wow. usually just ask, what do I need the card to do for me in this exact moment? And then I make the card moment, do that. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I usually take two more dollars. Uh, and I'm going to uh, Elrond's council. <laughs> Go down by three. You also noticed that, uh, I don't know if you noticed this, but that is now the fifth Elrond's council Mike has played. Well, uh, in yeah. his defense, he's got Will of the West, so he okay. can recycle Which I've played twice now. Well, I thought you only had one when you did it, and it was over and all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then I shuffled back. Is those out of the game now when you play them? Is that how they work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I know. It's it's crazy. All right. Furial sees Kovac Haven. I'm going to keep that. And then that, we make three progress. So we've got, uh, this is a good time to go to Kovac Haven. I agree. All right, here we go. I don't suppose you have a uh, a faint voices on you. Let me see what I draw. Nope. That is the I... one card along with Galleon that will just not show up. <laughs> I will actually die if I take that heavy cruiser, and I imagine you will too. Oh, close. Um, let's see here. Heavy cruiser, attacking for seven. I could defend it with the dream chaser. Yeah. I think we do it. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta get out. Yep. So, oh, sorry, I grabbed it. Wait. I'll stop. That's fine. It's fine. It's all cool. Uh, he does get boarding one, though, doesn't he? Oh, he does. This is the last card, which means those bad guys are coming back. Oh, there he is. Okay. You guys also have archery four at least. I'm going to let it. Uh, my good friend the Sylvan do that. Done. <laughs> All right. Before any of these people attack, we are going to use Thrandall's ability so I don't waste any money. And you don't have anyone, so you have at least one sentinel for me? I have one sentinel for you. Okay. That'll work out perfect. So we're going to exhaust Olorian. You know what? I actually three. could have. Mike, two shouldn't seconds. you take the warship down? I'll die. What would that add, dude? Well, Legolas out. I, if you can map it out for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's have Jubire defend the first uh, Umbar Raider with damage on it. Done. Oh, he gets two resources. Sweet. That's cool. So I'm going to go... Or does he can't? Does Jubire cancel that? Oh, he, of course he does. With, of course he does. Yeah. Because he's Jubire. Yeah. Um, then the Dream Chaser will defend the Heavy Cruiser. He yeah. can't. He can't cancel that. He can only cancel a face down shadow card. Jubire. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's. When he exhausts to defend. Oh, yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. that's what yeah. I do. I always cancel my own, the one I'm defending, because that's what he does. <laughs> do you? It's, it's fine, like reading fine. what you want to read. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll, I'll exhaust these two to give him plus two defense, and I'll, and I'll get rid of that. There. Okay. So, But this guy's now attacking for more. Got it. Okay. But he's also... No, oh, he doesn't get any more defense. Okay, sweet. Fans of the show, I want you to run the tape on all of Mike's Jubire plays, please. Nope. These these I can trigger whenever I feel like it because it's an action. No, the Jubire play of the like, I always discard my own. I don't know that that's true. No, it totally is. It's the one I defend. will defend the other one. <laughs> that's how you read. Might as well read. Yeah, I don't know and why he doesn't actually. I'll exhaust Elven King to return Galleon and oh, ready him. That's awesome. Now that you have Galleon, the engine goes. The engine. Yep. Okay, so let's kill this giant ship, right? Okay, I've got four from my ship. Okay, how much do we need to kill this thing? Uh, five plus eight would be 13. So we need 10 more to kill it. You got four? I've got seven going your way. Seven. But it has, it has three damage already. Don't forget. Yep. So it's got seven. So if I had three more, that's 10 to kill it. Yep. So there goes the heavy cruiser. We've got the Tower of the Heron. Yep. Then, 
Uh, Legolas is hitting for four. I'm going to ready so Legolas... up Yazan by pitching a card with Khalil's <laughs> ability, which is totally <laughs> legal. That is legal. And I'm Legolas gonna send... is going to kill the Umbar radar. Okay. And then I've got three more arrows coming your way. Okay, and then between all That's my archers, we kill the last guy. I draw a card for Legolas. Oh, so actually, uh, I need to send. Before any of that happened, yeah, I believe the moment you killed that ship, yeah, Battle in the Bay flips. Oh, you're right. You're in quest oh, three. Okay. No, that's fine. Just we can kill the ship last. Well, there might be more things out that you need to deal with. And so it... you might not want to kill those two dudes. That's all I'm thinking about. Like the two dudes in front of you might not be uh, the I most think, of I your think problems. It, I think it puts out ships. I think. Probably it'll put out a ship. Yep. Let's see what we got. All right, moving on though. Yeah, we uh, we do it. Uh, the players okay. make engagement checks against each enemy in the staging area. Flagship gets minus fifty engagement cost during this. Cool. Mike, you didn't let our host read the story. Oh yeah. You have to go after Zahir. Emerhill yells as the battle rages on. We will finish this fight. Okay, Emerhill, we'll totally do that. Okay. Yeah, what is he doing right now? Yeah, where is he? <laughs> so, as it falls, you would get the Corsair warship, and I would get the flagship. Okay, okay, okay. Which means, oh, I luckily, get three boarding. No, because we have Kobas Haven. I only have two boarding. Why does, why does the Corsair, Corsair warship come down? That's true. It doesn't, because oh, it's it just the Raider down. flagship that gets minus oh, 15. Oh, never mind. In that case, you yeah. just get this, and nothing comes out. Sweet. And I accept this challenge. How do I get second encounter discard into the second encounter deck? Seriously. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I just guess we can't get any more raids. Guess not. Oh. All right. Well, here we go. All right. That's it. Refresh. We just have to uh, to kill that ship. And only ships can do it. Or we have to outrun it. Or we outrun it. Do we outrun We're outrunning it. Aren't you outrunning it? Because right now there's only we two can... ships in play, right? Yeah, yeah, we can totally outrun it. As long as we don't get another guarded objective. Right? Oh, that's uh, not even a thing. It's no. not even a thing. You just have to get 15, or if more ships come out, more than that. I uh, see you both. Well, if we, if we get a guarded objective. Oh, wait. You said it's... No, that's just on the previous one. Yeah, that was only the previous. Oh, okay, cool. This one is just run. Draw, 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 draw. Oh, that's funny. Well, I've got a test of will now. Let's uh, let's to the sea, and uh, one, two, three, four, five gets out. Gildor and Glorian. It's good to see that pretty boy again. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put courier into play, and I'll put a progress on Kobas Haven. Hey, I can still interact with it, Mike. Can you? Oh. I put a progress on Koba Saban. Nice, okay. Let's see how well I can do here. Yeah. Hmm. The flagship now is 36 hit points. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. We're, we're bitter, just ignoring him. The bitter dwarves. The bitter dwarves. <laughs> Bitter dwarves. Their corpses have <laughs> floated up from the bottom of the ocean and are now ghouls. Um, so if we're playing by we get to make the cards say what they want, can Mike just pay for my host of the Glathroom? I yep. would I would love to. Sweet. I would love to. <laughs> um all right. I believe all he right. exhausts a tribesman for that. 
I am going to that's sail. It, that's it. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> so, Mike, I can run the encounter deck, so let me do something. Okay, now cool. Let me know. Uh, How many? I am at six for sailing. Oh, nice. One, two, three, One, yeah. four, five, six. Two yeah. out of those. Uh, for Last Sweet. Alliance, of course, I am choosing Khalil's Headdress. And we're just flying out of here? We're flying out. Okay. I'm just going to go Hail Mary then. Yep, Hail Mary. Everything's going. I think your 38 should do it. Uh, 42. All right, uh, what, is, what is for your LC? For your LC, Strong LC. We're going to keep that. Okay. And then a seed chip. We blow through. So you need to have 20... Yep, you're good. Woohoo! We did it! Holy crap! I've never beaten this quest before. <laughs> I think what it's weird that when you start with three players and that person dies that you don't get their encounter card. I think you're just a bitter old dwarf. But why is that, though? Because a lot of other games, it's all about like the number of people that started. Is it because stuff goes back up into the staging area? Probably. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's because it was the first LCG. Mm. Yeah. That's fair. Is it Arkham Mike that does that? Like it starts oh, yeah. depends on the number. Of, yeah. Uh. No, because Arkham everyone draws their own card, right? But all the right, yeah. all the effects. What am I thinking that does that? All the oh, effects, it's like effects right? and things. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the everything that says per any player per player is effect is, is yeah. Wow. Nate, thank you so yeah. much for showing that to me. And, Good work, uh, guys. There, Welcome. there is. Oh, the asterisk on this thing is soul crushing, <laughs> um, but it was well, indeed a ton of fun. Yeah, it was. It it is a it's it can be a brutal quest, but it usually always is kind of fun. At least I've always enjoyed it. Yeah, as long as you don't bring dwarves. If you bring dwarves, it's not yeah, no fun it's, at all. It's just a heartbreak. You go to the <laughs> the bottom of the sea. Yeah, yeah I'd like to thank yeah. Mike for making me play a Joe deck. That <laughs> I was like, oh, I have a deck that barfs allies. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks. It totally. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I got a deck for you to play the next time we're you're on the show. <laughs> Awesome. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> it's, it's it's the bomber before the Grey Wizard came out. Oh, good lord. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> Nate, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks, hey, thanks for having me. This is a lot of fun. Great to hang with you again, man. It's been years. Yeah, for sure. It so, has. Hopefully so, it won't be years again. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Yeah. It will not. And uh, thank you, everyone in chat, as usual. It's midnight. It is, it is midnight Ooh. where you are. Um, we've got another week of Lord of the Rings. Who do we got next week, Mike? Uh, we have Darkling Door. Nice. That's right. Great. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you all. And we'll catch you. you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.